Hey, this is Michael Anthony right here, and you are watching exclusively Van Halen on the Johnny Bean TV. Keep it there. Woo! See ya! Oh, look at that. We've got applause. Hello, everybody. Finally. What's up, dudes? Johnny Bean here. Ron Gunner. This is exclusively Van Halen, the Van Halen show on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook. We do giveaways, you guys. And tonight, I'm going to let you guys choose what we give away. I've got a couple different things here. We got the new, uh, the latest issue of Guitar World with uh, Edward Van Halen on the, on the cover, class of 1984. Now, I did see that Joe Satriani did post that him and Steve Vai are on the newest, I think it was Guitar World, I think the, the newest uh, cover. So that means um, if, you want, if you want this, if you want this, you got to participate in the chat if you want to win this. So we may do this one or, and, I don't know, we got the EVH uh the uh tor was it tor tortex 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 yeah the evh tortex guitar picks i found uh, a few of these yesterday uh they're pretty i mean i'm i'm pretty sure that they're they're pretty new at least you know in stores so they're not the max grip there you go oh there's a good shot so they're yeah, not the max grip yeah, they're like the Tortex, like the, you know, the ones that are, they have the turtle on them and they're, they're you know, they're uh, yellow, orange, uh, green, blue, purple, you know, all those. That's what these are. So, so maybe uh, we'll give some of these away tonight also, but uh, yo, let's, let's say hello to the top tier of channel members here on Johnny Bean YouTube channel channel membership it's a great way to help support the channel and support these shows and the top tier are the executive producers they are currently sherman callahan cc nova nine michael smith music therapy Laz, who i actually hung out with for about 10 minutes yesterday our habs <laughs> warlike fairfield guitar co well i, I stayed further away from him because he'd been sick so i i didn't stand right next right next to him but but we we hung out for a little bit uh, let's see, Fairfield Guitar Co., Majestic PB and J Cat, and Janice Lala, the intern. Which, by the way, Janice did remind me to get new batteries for this. I did not get them yet, but I'm just realizing that if I just press harder on the buttons, it's working. So, but I, I did a channel member video earlier, you know, for channel members. Uh, did about 45 <laughs> minutes. Janice was there. And she did remind me to get some uh, some batteries for this. Cool. So, so we will do that. So, you guys, we're live on YouTube. And if you'd like to help support the channel, support these shows, another way you can do that is with Super Chats. Really cool thing about Super Chats on this channel, and only on this channel, is they change the color of my lights. And if you're wondering what that even means, this is called the Guitar Noir. We got some guitars in there. We got some future prizes in here. These lights you can magically, magically change, change. These lights you can, yeah, it's magic. Yes, it is. Well, Why, you oh, can do magic. There we go. Magic, <laughs> magical. See, you can change these lights in real, in real time while we're alive with your questions or comments. So there's an option for you guys. And let's see, what else do we normally do here? We're live on... Uh, Facebook, Johnny Bean Facebook page. We got Facebook stars. We're also live in the EVH Gear Fans Live group. We're live in the Johnny Bean TV group. And we're live in the exclusively Van Halen group at about, we're at about 64,000 
members in there. I, I, I led about 100 people a day into that group. And we're also live on Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, so. Exclamation point S in the chat, please, Janice. That'll give you guys all our links to iHeartRadio, Spotify, Stitcher, uh, Threads, TikTok, Kick. I mean, every everywhere that Lemonade, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty much everywhere there is, you guys. Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Are they still doing that? Yeah, I think Apple. It was Amazon. I think it was it, it was it was the uh, Amazon Music. Remember, remember that time you you were able to watch on yes. the Amazon Music app? They discontinued that, so what? that's not happening anymore. So even though nobody watched us over there anyway, <laughs> no, that, dis- that's that was Spotify. I watched it at Sp- Spotify. Yeah, <laughs> Spotify. We're on Spotify, Spotify too. Yeah. No, it, it was the it was the Amazon, the Amazon Music okay. Service. Yeah, they discontinued the 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 Twitch. I some sort of something, I don't know. But the thing is, we're on all those platforms anyway. So you can you'll get us on those platforms whether it's video, whether it's audio. And OnlyFans. OnlyFans, we actually are over there. And I talked about this on on my Twitch show the other night. Uh, you know, <laughs> they're surprisingly, you know, you'll, you'll be surprised, but, but a lot of musicians do use only fans, you know, it's yeah. not just, it's not just for the stuff you look at, Ron. No, I've never been there and I don't look like I have a, a reason <laughs> to go there. <laughs> what I was explaining, um, cause you know, we, I do a Twitch show every night, you know, we play video games, GTA right. content warning. Uh, you know, a number of different games. I, I was this, this was a couple nights ago. I think I was explaining this to uh, Dan Tanner. Are you in here, man? I think we were talking about this, and I was telling him how uh, OnlyFans really is a lot like Patreon. It's the same. It's the same type of thing. It's just basically uh, a platform where people can can uh, subscribe for for more content. You know, exclusive content. But I was telling Dan Tanner that. Um, I like keeping everything here on YouTube because it gives you, it gives you the the features. It gives you the, the channel membership. It gives, you know, the names are green in the chat, like Scott, like Janice, like Michael. I see you guys because you guys are here, you know, as channel members on the platform. So I'd rather keep that here than, than send you guys off, you know, to another, another, I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the future. You never know, but but that's basically all that is, you know, OnlyFans. It, but thing is, it's, it's people have overtaken that with a certain type of entertainment. And that's why people think of that when they, you know, but it's really, it's not all about that. Not that I have ever been there. And I would know. <laughs> no, but I do know because this is what I do. So I, I do know. Yeah. Are you hanging but, out at OnlyFans? Yeah. Well, I, I do have one. I really do have one. I just, I, it's not set up. If you want it, Ron, I'll, I'll give it to you here. No, 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 that's that's fine. Johnny fans. I don't go there. <laughs> Johnny B, where is it? I do have an account. You know, where I don't know. Janice, can you f- look at my OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's somewhere, but I've never set it up to use. So it's like there's nothing there. There's no content there. Um. Wait a minute. Anyway, whatever. We'll figure that out. We'll post pictures on there of, of uh, you, Laz, and Octo in the bunk beds. Mm-hmm. That'll go over. We could. We could. There's <laughs> video of us in the in the bunk beds. There you go. We, right we there. We were there. Make we your were, first post on there a, a killer one. <laughs> we 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 were there. You know, when we, when we were down there for the for the Steve Rosen uh, Tone Chaser book event down in Hollywood, it was pouring rain. And we stayed at this place where we had, there was two bunk beds in there. And if you guys remember that footage, Jenna says she'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you guys remember that video? We were live and we, we were checking out the, the room we were staying in and we, there was actually a, a dead bug in one of the bunk beds. 
And so nobody slept in that bed. And Laz was on top. He was. He, he, he said here he's always on top. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Laz was, uh, I saw him yesterday for about 20 minutes. Um, he was over at his, uh, he was, he's actually setting up like, like different studios. He has another studio in, in, uh, Pleasanton, California, where he was, he was setting up in a, in a little space with some amplifiers and a, there's a drum set in there. And, and Shouldn't he finish his home studio for I have, you have to talk to you have to ask him that. I, don't I mean, know. I busted our bottoms here for three weeks to get this one done. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, it looks great. Stay focused. <laughs> looks great. Look at that. Thank you. What's what's the what's the 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 light thing on the on the wall? Is that, that see through is or is that? No. That oh, it's pointing. It. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Mac bid, man. I got this for a buck. <laughs> brand new in box i was like oh you can't beat that place wow there that's wild so yeah. next one i'm bidding on um wait that's where i got well if you look like over here oh wait down here on the, the floor it looks like the little red line mm -hmm. that is a led rope light that normally sells like 54 dollars, and i got it for 16 Still sealed in the original box from MacBit. Oh, no way. Yep. Everything was still sealed. Everything was still wrapped up. Even had the uh, the clear tape covering the battery for the remote. The, the little tab you pull out, everything. Oh, yeah. I, I got a, I got about 100 of those little remotes. <laughs> and yeah, you have, you have to pull the little tag out every, mm -hmm. time, you, every time you use one, yeah. And it was 38, 38, almost 39 feet of that. And it's, it's not like a regular rope light where it's all round. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a uh, uh, a rectangle, more or less. The light is just on the top half. The bottom's completely square, and it comes with mounts where you can mount it and clip it in place. Mm -hmm. So, but I have, I now have on my watch list two pin spots that are movable, or programmable, or they'll go by voice or mo or music. And I want to put one up in that corner. And one clear over in that corner, so as I'm talking, it'll look like a stage show in the background. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I figure, what the hell? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Let's say hello to some people here. We got Chris King on Facebook. Hey, good to see you, man. We got C Bass saying hello to Jimmy Z, who's saying for eighteen ninety nine a month you can see Johnny walking around the Isles of Guitar Center in his G string. <laughs> Speaking you of might, that, you might want to use the the uh, low E from a bass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, I, I was at Guitar Center yesterday and did a did a, a walk through, and I played a couple guitars. I played the the Ibanez Micro, the the Paul Gilbert, uh, which uh, there there we are right there. And then, uh, how do you say his name? The guy, the guy from uh, Dream Theater, John Petucci. Petucci. Yep. I said Petrucci. Well, well. Petrucci. How do you in the chat? How do you say? He's his the name? one that was here. Remember, it, last year, he was on my couch. I, I snuck a photo of him. Mm -hmm. He came with a friend of mine who knows him. Uh huh. Yeah, he was. He was playing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He was playing one of the Jacksons. That was probably another reason why I couldn't take his picture legally <laughs> did he say no photos no the guy he was with said no don't just don't don't take any pictures of him uh -huh. that's why i was sitting at the desk he was on the couch and i snuck that one <laughs> but yeah he was playing he was I, I don't know i think he was playing the slime green jackson and then he played the uh the blue and the aqua burst that i buffed out because he thought that that was a beautiful finish he's like i didn't know they come shiny i said they didn't Petrucci. 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 <laughs> Everybody's Petrucci. saying. Petrucci. Petrucci. Whatever. Because it's confusing because out here, I don't I don't know if the guy's in the Bay Area, but there's a lawyer. And his name is Pet Pet Petrucci. Petrucci. 
Petrucci. But yeah, Petrucci and, and Associates. So I hear that name all the time, but from somebody else, not from the, the guitar player guy, you know? Petrucci. Petrucci. Okay, anyway. Played one of his guitars at Guitar Center. I think uh, it was a seven string. Had a good time. Yeah. That's really good. And then thank you again to Janice. Thank you again to Janice, the intern. Wait, why am I laughing at that? Janice bought me a taco. That's right. I saw that. So thank you so much, Janice. Thank you for your, your support. Um, yeah. So let's see. What else? Anyway, great. Had a great video yesterday. Check it out if you haven't. There'll be a card right up there at 16 minutes, if I can remember. Or actually, this is what we should do. Janice. Oh, perfect. Janice, can you send me an... Uh, see, finally, we're, we're, we're finally figuring this stuff out. Janice, send me a tweet on X. Say, at the 16-minute mark, put a link to the Guitar Center video on tonight's show. The That's tonight how you show. do it. <laughs> You're right. You're correct, Johnny. That's right. So, there you go. Peggy. What's up? Yeah, say say hi to, say hi to some people. Let me. I gotta grab a drink. Hi. Say hi to some people. Janice Seabass, Scott, Jimmy Z, Steve's guitar, Michael B, Sean. Uh, let's see, Peggy, Dan, Scott. I think I said Scott already. Lewis, Jeff, uh, MPN. Oh, there you are. MPN. I got notification that will be here Thursday. So we're good. We're good to go. It'll be here. And while he's doing that, I want to show. Okay, I have the regular black. All right. I have seafoam green color, which to me is the. And I have the gold metal knurled. Now you're probably trying to figure out why I'm showing you this stuff. And then we have this color green there we go all right that color green or we have well we did have copper hold on a second we got copper up here and you can see that copper color okay and the reason i'm showing this to everybody is because I did receive this from Johnny in the mail the other day. Now, you remember how dirty it was? I had to clean it up to see. Well, it was on my OnlyFans page. <laughs> I had to clean up. I wanted to see everything it needed done to it. So it's here. Uh, I got it all tore apart, ready to go. And what I am going to do, if I could find the, uh, okay. The ground wire is still in here going in the body and it goes right here to where the uh, plug goes for the bridge instead of having the bare wire stick in there like it is now I'm going to actually copper shield the wire put it in there so you get full contact I'm going to copper shield the entire pickup cavity and copper shield the entire cavity out here I have to take out a little bit on the bottom in the two spots and I'm putting in bigger full size 500 K pots on it and then we're going to go with emg pickup in it with black ring passive emg yeah so i was trying to figure out i have the copper color i have the green uh i don't know if anybody you know if we wanted to pick me you know, i can go with the seafoam green knobs the gold or the black uh, and I think it'll depend on whatever whatever it ends up being painted, you know, whatever the color. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I mean. I have that green here, and I have. Well, the, the black will that, go with everything. Yeah, I well, I have I have the copper color here and this green. Uh, I don't know if I have a red here or not. I have to look, but I mean, you know, we need to figure it out because the weather is supposed to be nice starting uh, 
Saturday for like a week. Mm -hmm. So I could, I could get this painted. Uh, the headstock, it has some pieces it's like chips in the corner. I'm going to fix those, rebuild them. So you like, they were never broke. Uh, there mm -hmm. were some dents in the neck. So I'm going to do sand the neck down completely. Uh, I'm going to steam the dents out of the neck itself, patch the end pieces. Uh, and then I thought about painting the back of the headstock and putting the little trying the Van Halen, whatever that thing was called in the back of the headstock where the red paint came down the stinger on that and leave the neck natural and then oil it and then paint the headstock the same color as the guitar and I can make new logos for it. So paint Very the front cool. of the headstock and then the little, uh, the uh, rings that go around the uh, tuner pegs, I have gold fender ones, which I believe will fit. So if, if we went with gold, I would have gold for that. If not, mm -hmm. I can polish up the ones that are on it, and it'll still be chrome. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so wow, awesome! I want to, I want to win this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I, I know we talked about signing it when we're done. Uh, since it's your guitar, Johnny, I figured you want the top part right here signed. So I'll sign like right in here somewhere. And then I'll send it to you. Or when I send it to you. So, but it'll cool. be, uh, yeah. It's So it's going to have new pots, uh, new pickup, uh, new strap locks. Pretty much the whole, it's going to have the, still the original tuners, but I'm going to go through them, clean them up, and, uh, uh, I'm going to reseal them, put a little bit of grease in there so they stay nice and mm -hmm. functional. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> we'll go that way. Fully operational. <laughs> Skyprop, I sent Ron that pedal. I have so, it. So he has it. So now you guys just have to meet for lunch. That's <laughs> <Or right>. whatever. <laughs> Burgatory. <laughs> got to meet Burpatory. Bur Burgatory. And then I'll give it to you. Well, I'm going to paint it first. So I got to paint it your that blue and pink. Yeah, that sounds good. That or sounds purple cool. and pink. Whatever. It, send me send me a picture of that skateboard so I can message or match those colors. Yeah, the the photo of of the um, Back to the Future Valtera skateboard. I think that's that's what we said. Mm -hmm. But not the one from the movie. The one that I like the one that I had. The is there well Yeah, cuz the one that Marty had was just was what was it? Oh, I got somebody complaining now about my Van Halen group. It's like I'm babysitting, you know. You know what it's like to babysit 65,000 people? I don't have that many kids <laughs> <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> I know. I mean, me neither. The eighties, the eighties just went by so fast. I'm not. <laughs> this is thank actually, God. Thank God I was married for most of the time I was in the band. That's not a bad photo right there. Okay. So send send that to me, and I'll for, I'll try to. So the base has to be black, and then put the blue and pink on it. It's it's black with pink and then blue on pink and the blue, you'll see. It, it's okay. pretty much the same. You'll see. That would that would be cool, man. Then I'll clear it and then when it's all dry, buff it out. Then I'll hand it over to Sky, who can do the assembly and then send there it back go. to you. I got it. Thank you. There we go. Cool. By the way, miles away. <laughs> I know. Look at this. It's crazy. Jeremy Hefner on Facebook. Hey, good to see you, man. Hef. Hef, dude. You guys don't know this, unless you've been around all, all these years. Hef here, he was one of the original um, guests on my show. Like, going way back to the very beginning of these shows, Jeremy Ooh. was one of the first guys to be on these shows. Huge PV Wolfgang dude. And really into the the PVs. Okay, I I did see a, I did see a name in here. 
we I did a giveaway. I we did a show a couple days ago, and we we'll, we can continue on with this tonight for the Van Halen show because, um, because I'd like to get Ron's opinions on on some of this. Uh, we talked. I talked about Diver Down a couple days ago because it was the forty second anniversary of the of the release of the album. We did a giveaway for that forty five vinyl, and T Fetch was the winner. That's right. Although T Fetch needs to message me where to send. So, T Fetch, T Fetch, if you're here, send Johnny to that number. If you're here, yeah, send me a text, send me your info so I can write it right here. Because, <laughs> see, my info is already right there. Look at that nice little, little thing there. Your info will go right here. Well, if he doesn't so, send you his, you know mine, so just throw it on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you can mail it to him. No. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Janice, Janice, can you send me an X and tag Ron, reminding him that he does all mailings for all giveaways from now on, <laughs> especially when we give away the guitars. Uh, speaking of that, I saw uh, <laughs> b -b 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 Michael B in here, and the mug has been sent out. And Janice, your I think you headphone. Won. Somebody won. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you did, D T. I yes. think you did. I mean, I I rewatched, or yep. somebody rewatched the end of that and see whoever the winner is and let me know. I think it was you. I thought I did. He says, "What? I'm T Fetch. Well, who's the, who's that original T Fetch? There's two T Fetches. And the one was not. Was it not the original T Fetch or or the original? T I don't remember. Something like that." We Either used to not, have a guy in the chat here named the original Paramutant. <laughs> the ori original Paramutant was a name. We, we always looked at that name like, if you're the original one, you know, there's more. <laughs> That's you. Janice, your headset goes out tomorrow. Right on. Hopefully you'll have it for Sunday with Music Therapy Labs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was listening to some of their show on my drive yesterday. And Janice, Ooh. you might want you might want to send me a tweet, X, whatever, reminding me to mail the headphones Wednesday and tag Johnny in it and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Huh? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's cool, man yeah all right look at this look at this we got a bunch of cool people we got 50 people here you guys are awesome don't forget to smash that thumbs up since we got 50 watching you know we should at least you know try to get 50 thumbs ups that'd be nice currently we're at 15. there you go okay all right uh what else um yeah let's just let's 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 talk about some some diver down i think because i you know i talked about it uh, the other day but i'd like to get some of ron's opinions on on the album and the songs and i know there's probably a lot of people here who weren't here the other day either because that was just that wasn't even a scheduled show you know so let's jump over here Check this out. Thank you, Janice. There we go. Let's go to Van Halen News Desk. Diver Down Anniversary and Tribute. All right. Let's see. April 14th. Yeah, so two days ago was the anniversary. Right? 42nd anniversary, right? Yes. You know? Yep. Because when I asked Siri, at one point, Siri said it was 41 years, and then at another point, Siri said it was 42 years. 42. But then everywhere I went on Facebook, when people were talking about it, they all said 42. Yep. Okay. 82 from 2024 20, is 42 years. 42. Okay. Right, like I said before, my favorite songs on this album was... Where have all the good times gone? And then happy trails. Then, of course, you know, you get into Pretty Woman, but I don't know. That was pretty much it. I mean, I, 
Cathedral was good because uh, it was different. Were you an original fan that that? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Let's let 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 let, let us know because see, I I wasn't a fan then. I didn't discover the band till you know to till a few years later. And like, what was your? Did you buy the album when it was brand new? It was probably out for a couple of months when I got it. Okay. So when you first got it, first heard it, and did you realize it was half cover songs? Well, the the first song I heard on it was "Where Have All the Good Times Gone." That was the radio stations around here. That's what they were playing. Then mm -hmm. it was "Pretty Woman." Uh, Both cover songs. Yes. And I thought, <laughs> okay. So then a buddy of mine said it's it, their new Diver Down album. Uh, so I, you know, I I went and looked at. It, I'm thinking, well, that's cover, that's cover, that's cover. I was, well, okay. So I end up buying it. And uh, like I said, just where have all the good times gone? And then Happy Trails. I was like, I, I was just amazed with Happy Trails. I thought that was excellent the way they did that. Mm -hmm. But then again, I was a fan of Roy Rogers anyhow. So. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Van Halen lyrics. We talking diver down at 40 plus years later. Where have all the, where have all the good times gone? Love it. Right. They went away. Van Halen lyrics. Years. <laughs> Van Halen lyrics. Good to see you. And I, I just saw another name in here, dude. Tracy. Tracy, what's up, man? Great to see you at the NAM show again. He's going to buy a fast car. I know. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, Tracy's actually a good a good bud, and he. Uh, I see him at the Nam show every year. Always good. Always good stuff. <laughs> so, so that that was my take on the album. Uh, you know, I. You like the first was, song. You like the last song. And and. Whoa. Oh, Alexa, <laughs> stop! <laughs> Alexa, turn the lights off. <laughs> it will upstairs. It's set up. <laughs> But no, I mean, Alexa, was, restart the computer. <laughs> it just, it, it just wasn't, um, I don't know. It, it wasn't, it, you know, well, coming well, from, coming from the first couple albums into that, it's like, it was almost like what happened? You know, I mean, my first thought was, were they That's run out what of I'm original saying. stuff? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. the Van Halen fans back in the day. And, you know, I, I mean, you know, I, I run the second largest group on Facebook, 64,000 members. So, and like I said, I just got a message five minutes ago of somebody saying, Johnny, can you please get rid of this guy in the, in the, in the group? You know, <laughs> I get messages all day long from people complaining about other people. And so, you know, being a, a, an original fan of the band when, when, that, al when that album came out, because what was before that? Fair Warning. Fair warning, yeah. Which was all originals, right? Yeah, all original mm -hmm. stuff. Even their fair warning was at the time, like I think it was their at the time, it was their their uh uh I don't want to say worst. Um <laughs> well, yeah, worst selling album. Yeah. It didn't sell as many as pre all the records previously, I believe. Fair warning didn't sell as well, you know, back then. Now yeah. it's it's like, yeah, uh, it's like a, a classic. I mean, people are like, that's one of their favorite ones. You well, know, you know, time. after after I got this and I listened to the whole thing, I was like, what happened? You know, like they well, they must have ran. You're out like, they might as well get Sammy Hagar. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, well, they must be running out of originals and <laughs> they lost their magic somewhere along the line. <laughs> So. Imagine if Sammy had joined and then they'd put out Diver Down. Uh, Imagine that. Worse. Imagine that. Okay, so before that, you got you got Fair Warning, which was their their right. That's how, how should I? I don't want to say worst selling, but that's yeah. It didn't Mediocre. sell as it didn't Mediocre. sell as many as the one before that, which mm -hmm. was uh, Women Children First. The thing is, Van Halen they never really had top 10 like singles like hits they they really didn't they sold a lot of records 
but they didn't really have songs that i mean yeah they had songs on the radio but it wasn't it actually it wasn't until i don't think right i i don't think pretty i no. think pretty woman well pretty woman went and then uh, i think pretty woman was one of their first like top 10 singles which wasn't theirs so you know it's like which uh, wasn't theirs but but the cool thing, and I remember um, Eddie did a, a, a guitar player interview with my cousin, Jazz Obrecht, where he was telling Jazz that it, it, it takes just as much time to make a, a cover sound unique as it does writing an original song. Oh, well, I'm sure. So, because, and see, that's that that's that's where you that's really where you get like the where the, the people that do covers and they make it more like like their style mm -hmm. that's where they really stand out mm -hmm. because why why release a cover song that sounds exactly like the, the actual song you might as well listen to the actual song true. you know true right I janice mean, dance the night away was 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 getting popular that one i was like well you know but yeah, this album, this this album didn't didn't how the how Charlton Hesse says this didn't blow any wind up my skirt. <laughs> Charlton Hesse says Char Charlton Hesse says that in. Uh, There's nothing wrong with where lies. Wrong. That's okay, especially if I'm only fans. <laughs> I don't go there. <laughs> to go there <laughs> okay i'm not put your own there. spin on it <laughs> there you go yeah yeah you put put your own spin on on the uh on a on a, so, a but cover. see but the problem with that is if you ha if you're doing a cover <clears throat> let's say for example that you are doing one of the beatles like yesterday and you put your own spin on it you're going to have instantly a lot of Beatles fans pissed at you for one, because you change something. You know, it, it's going to be why mess with perfection? That's kind of unfair, actually, to to bring to bring them up. Yeah. Well, I I think I think with the Beatles, I think that's that's probably one. That's that's. Let us know in the chat what you guys think. I think if you're covering the Beatles, yeah, you probably you'll probably get more success with it if it sounds more like the original. Mm -hmm. and not too far different because some of those songs it'd, it'd be tough to get them to sound you oh, know yeah. exact to begin with you ever tried to play uh what, what's what's the uh, uh blackbird no you I ever tried to play, play that I, on guitar no i used to play here there and everywhere i can play day tripper blackbird <laughs> forget it there's some finger picking in there that dude <laughs> I remember I, I was taking a, a music theory class. This is just a few years ago. And and I walk in there and instantly the 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 instructor puts on the on the huge screen uh he puts up uh Blackbird in in music. And he wanted everybody to to write it out. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped the class instantly because it was it was a little too much at the time. Still would be, you know, for now, but um Well, you know, that's what I'm saying though. If 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 you did something like that, you're gonna have half the people just pissed at you because that doesn't even sound like that. You know, why why again, why mess with perfection is what you're gonna hear. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. But but there is a difference between I don't know. I mean, it, music is, is so different now. I mean, there's so many genres. It's everywhere. It's 24 hours a day. I mean, just doom scroll through TikTok and you'll see, you know, I wake up in the morning and there's people busking on the streets in, in, in England. Like, as soon as I wake up in the morning, there's live video of somebody singing Beatles songs right there on the street corner. Like, I see them, right? So music it's it's such a different scene now. I think I think I mean it's almost like you, you don't have to you don't have to re-record songs, release songs. I mean, even if you were to do that, 
there's so much red tape you have to go through just to release oh, yeah. stuff legally. But people cover songs all the time, you know, busking on street corners. And yeah, in that case, if you were to sing a Beatles song, yeah, sing it pretty much the way it is and, and that'll make people happy, you know? But but let's let's just take it back to, to Van Halen, you know? With with Edward Van Halen, if, if they were gonna cover a song, he really tried making songs sound like the records. That's a major problem Van Halen had back when they were playing the clubs was they couldn't make the the top 40 songs that they had to play every night. They had to do like four sets like a night, you know? And I I think kind of like you, you know, Eddie was 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 lugging around like like three four <laughs> uh cabinets, you know? Not easy. And I'm paying but, for it now 30 years later. You know? But he would act, he would actually turn them around. He would turn them around, have them face the other direction. He would put um uh sheets of 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 uh i don't know plywood in front you know of the speakers because he had to have his amps all the way up to get to get the tone to get the sound and either he would have you that, know these to either one of those angles he would have these cabinets right here on a stage this far away from somebody's head because you'd have these people right in front of the stage sitting there at tables you know mm -hmm. waiting to hear these these cover tunes but uh anyway so so van halen back in the day they they had they couldn't make cover tunes sound like the original songs and you can hear that like if you listen actually i have um i have a cd right here we're actually giving this away on a future episode of the channel so make sure you guys uh subscribe subscribe and like if you're watching this on facebook follow the page or group wherever you're seeing this this you know, post from like the the post. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. We're looking to get to twelve k YouTube subscribers. But like this this uh, live album right here, Van Halen seventy seven plus live. They do a bunch of covers on here. They do Gene Genie. <laughs> I believe that that's David Bowie. They do rock and they get rock steady, rock and roll hoochie coo. You know. Yeah, that's the live stuff right there. It's the Pasadena Hilton, nineteen seventy six. So, like, you listen to those those covers, and they still sound like Van Halen. They couldn't get songs to sound like the original songs. Yeah, they tried. That you know, they thought back in the day that that oh no, we're never going to make it because we can't make anything sound like anything but us. But you know, of course. You know, they became Van Halen, and yeah. that was a good thing. So, well, I, you know, that's, and I feel the same way, uh, you know, about Randy Road recording. If to me, if you're going to cover or record an Ozzy slash Randy Road slash Bob Daisley song, in my eyes, it better, you better keep as close to original as you possibly can. If mm -hmm. you can't, don't do it. Because you know, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to hear a rap version of Crazy Train. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just I'm nothing against rap. It's just it, when you, there's just certain people. Like if someone would cover a, a Van Halen song, most people would probably want him to to sound as much like Eddie as possible, or David, or Sammy, or you know, I'm, I, even Gary, I guess. <laughs> well, know, but with a tr with a tribute band, yes. With a tribute band, yes. As far as, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why the music scene is so different now. It's like everything is out there. It's not like, uh, you know, back 20, you know, 20, 30 years ago, where if you were, if you had to do some covers, you know, to play the club, see, that was the catch. Mm -hmm. That was like Van Halen. They used to get kicked out of clubs because they couldn't make the song sound the way they sounded on the radio. And the club owners would come running out like, hey, what is this you're playing? This is too, your guitar, your guitar player is too psychedelic because he's doing all this stuff. You know, Edward was always into uh, creating guitar riffs. So he would create riffs around like most of the songs they would cover 
are just basic songs, you know, yeah. 50s, 60s, you know, probably some, yeah, some 70s. Yeah. You know, the Linda Ronstadt, uh, You're No Good. Um, it was more basic stuff, but then Edward would, would always create like a, a guitar riff. He always liked to have a, a riff. Yeah. So, so a, lot of, a lot of those songs didn't sound, they sounded like Van Halen. You know, he would Van Halenize Van Halen eyes, the, the, the riffs, same with the police, same with Andy Summers, anything the police played, they had such a, such a style that was their own, mm -hmm. sounded like them. There's very few bands, you know, there's, there's very few bands that I think, I think can do that or that can get to, you know, the, the highest level as a Van Halen or the police, you know. I got but, the low. I got the lowdown on the the Vi Satriani show from the other night. Mm hmm. It's not good. <laughs> mm, okay, cool. Why it wasn't a good show? Well, first off, uh, my daughter said the audience was probably ninety five percent fifty plus year old men. Mm hmm. And uh, and she said Steve Vi looks like he's like eighty five. And he's too old to be wearing leather pants, and he's too old oh to be humping God. his guitar while he's playing and having the camera fixed on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, she, and she said that <laughs> they did do uh, uh, a Metallica song. They turned a four and a half minute song into eleven minutes, and it was it, they did the whole song correct up to the solo then they played like a six or seven minute solo between the two of them then they finished the song out and the keyboard player was the one that was singing mm -hmm. um <clears throat> but uh you know they, they they played great but it was just it was just weird but then again my daughter is only 27 her husband's 30 so you know they didn't mm. grow up with steve I doubt they. I doubt if I even saw the uh, Crossroads movie. <laughs> of course, they haven't. They have I no doubt, idea. Yeah, I have they don't even know who Rolf Rolf Macchio would be. You know. <laughs> no. I don't even know who Rolf Macchio is. She just said it was just weird. She said literally. She said that the they are during the intermission. She said there was a mile long line for the men's restroom, and women had two people in in line, and she was one of them. Yeah. There was only, you know, it was it was all. Said well, even there, of course, you know. of course, it was. Yeah. Of course, that's the type of show that is. I mean, even Sammy Hagar had joked when when I saw Chickenfoot when they played the Warfield in San Francisco in 2012. Sammy turned to Joe Satriani, and and he said, "I bet you've never seen this many women at your show, <laughs> at your shows." <laughs> Well, Carrie said it was a little weird to see 60 plus year old men taking their shirts off and swinging them and yelling for Steve. I was like, oh. <laughs> I said, well, they were in Akron, Ohio. It was at a, it was at a casino. Uh huh. So they were there. That was just uh, <laughs> last last week. Last, well, it was last one day last week. It's like Saturday. Because you told me about it before we started. You you yeah. said that they were there. They were there. Yeah. So, <laughs> but she said, Steve needs to start eating some meat because she said he just looked. They, she took a picture of him, and he does. He he looks a lot older than he is. Hmm. So. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. And they did, anyway. They did, they didn't get to go backstage because she said they left right away. As soon as the show was over, they got out of there. I guess they didn't want to get stampeded by 50 plus year old men <laughs> with no. Oh shirts. my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think they were here, right? I think they, they, they played here already. They said they both, you know, they, they both, the, the whole band, they played fantastic. It's just not what they thought it was going to be. And I said, I didn't know what you thought it was going to be. I said, if you ever listen to either one of those two, you got what they should, they, what they always do. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Steve's only 63, Keith. I don't know. He put he wow, well, he's only sixty three. Yeah, but mm -hmm. she she sent me a picture and I was like, wow. I mean it, it looks like he's late seventies. Man. Well, he's Steve Vai, so Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't True. matter what he looks like. He's Steve Vai. You know. But that's what she said that, that you know, and Steven both said that the, the playing was phenomenal, the band was phenomenal. He said the keyboard player was I don't even know who it was. Who, who, he said, but at one point, it's like uh, Joe walks over and starts doing something, and the keyboard player copied it, and they go back and forth. And and he said the keyboard player did an arpeggio that was faster than Joe was doing it. I said, well, yeah. I said, because Joe's got to go like this up and down. This guy just goes straight across. Mm -hmm. But he said, yeah, the, you know, playing wise, they were freaking phenomenal. That's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah. I think they were here. Yeah. La Music Therapy Laz, you're in the chat. There you are. Yeah, they were here already, right? They played like the Fox Theater in downtown Oakland or something. I think Laz was going to go, but ended up not, go not being able to go or something. Or maybe you did go. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I've never seen Steve Vai live. Not yet. Satriani, I did see live front row at the Jason Becker. Well, the end of that movie, the yeah. Jason Becker, not dead yet movie. You watch the end of that movie. You see, you see Satriani headlining a, a tribute show. I was there. I actually filmed the entire Satriani set and it's, it's on my channel here on YouTube. You guys can watch it. The entire thing. Janice, can you? Can you remind me, Janice, at 52 minutes, uh, put up a card for the uh, Satriani, just say Satriani Slims show. I don't know what you mean. That's the venue. I got to see Steve for the Eat Him and Smile tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told him, I said, I said, so what he was doing there with Joe, he did the same thing on Eat Him and Smile, but just with, with uh, Billy Sheen on bass. And I said, the bass was ripping right next to him. I said, that was the difference. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, he just needs to quit wearing leather pants and eat some meat. <laughs> I'm like, well, He might be a vegetarian. He is. He is. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, speaking of meat, I had a roast beef sandwich today that I made myself. <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't Arby's roast beef? No, it wasn't. They closed our Arby's. It's what? gone. It's gone. Chris King, you saw the skyscraper tour? No way, man. Dude, I, I would have loved to have seen that one. I actually liked the sky. I liked I was more into the skyscraper album than the Eat 'em and Smile album. All right, let me have it. You know? <laughs> I was actually more into skyscraper at the time. You know, probably because it, it came out brand new and I was a fan by that point when when uh, Eat 'em and Smile came out like it. I think it came out before I really got into into them, you know. Yeah. Remember, uh, Vi played that that double guitar. It was a heart. Yeah. And it was the heart body shape and it was like two or three necks. Yep. Imagine carrying that around. That was pretty cool. You go go for an audition for a band and break that thing out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Or one of Rick Nielsen's seven neck guitars. <clears throat> Man. Crazy. Crazy talk. Yeah. Laz, I think Earlier, thank you for the comment. I would I show you the other wall here with the guitars hanging, but I got the thing attached up there, the microphone. Or not the microphone, the camera. There we go. Sean Woodall, Eat Him and Smile is miles better than Skyscraper. I think most people would agree with that. Just personally, myself, I, I remember listening more to Skyscraper. And I hate to say it, but it's possible I've never even heard the whole thing of Eat Him and Smile. I hate what? to say that. I hate to say that it might be true. Let me. 
Well, you know, I, I, I think Dave went, that album was. Oh, ex- I, wait, wait. Excessive in every way, shape, or form. Because I I've think heard- he, he tried, had, like, I had a, he had a point to prove. Yeah. Okay, I ha- I have heard all these songs. I don't remember listening to the album like all the way through. Like, like with the uh, sky skyscraper, I do remember listening to that album all the way through because I had a paper out, and I remember having a little CD Walkman, and I I remember specifically. I remember with my bike. I remember walking through this one driveway and listening to the just like Paradise, the guitar solo. Mm-hmm. And I remember hearing the delay of the guitar. You know, it's like delays. And mm-hmm. of course, then, you know, I mean, I knew about overdubbing and stuff, but also it's like I really thought Steve Vai probably was doing all that himself. <laughs> That's why he he was like so like just you know phenomenal, Steve Vai. You know, which I think you know at the time for David Lee Roth, I think he was the perfect choice to be the next. You know, guitar player. Yeah. Well, and again, that, that the Eat Him and Smile album was, a, like I just said, it was excessive. And it, the stage show was excessive. The 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 flash, the cost, every, it was, let's go 150% and then double <clears> that. <throat> and it was all, you know, I think it was more like a, uh, it was a FU to the VH brothers. Or, you know, whether you look at it that way or not, that's irrelevant. I think that's what I think, my own personal opinion, that's what Dave was more or less doing. So it was like, how can we do this and make this just over the top? Mm-hmm. And that, that's what they did. Because even the, the stage show, the live show, that was like crazy. Yeah. I'll have to watch more, more of those live uh, videos. I've seen some of I've seen some of them. But I didn't see that show live. I mean, then I didn't even see Fifty One Fifty live. I mean, I, I would would have loved to, but I I grew up on the the video, the live without a net, you know. Um, let's see, Max Server, that's a cool one. Like with the uh, the Vi White Snake, yeah. I liked that one, the the uh, slip of the tongue, was it? The White Snake album. Is that with Vi? With Vi? I'm not sure. I think it is. I would like For, to hear the the Steve Vi Ozzy Osbourne album that's completely recorded. Where's that? And Steve <laughs> has it. Oh wow. He he him and Ozzy did an album in the ni- early nineties. And he's like, and nothing ever happened to it. So I, Steve, I, I saw an interview. So I got the tapes right in there. I'm like, mm-hmm. man, put it out. I would love to hear that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, probably eventually. Maybe we would get to uh, get to hear that. Let's see. Wait a minute. Is this true? Wait, I just. Wait, 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 wait. Michael Tagler, Vise Flexible is the bee's knees. I had that on vinyl. I really don't <laughs> remember it, but I, I had it. Wait a minute. Uh, Passion and Warfare. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that was a good one. Roth sings a line on Flexible. On Vise album? Is that, tr- is that the truth? I don't know. I never knew that. It says Dave knew Steve Vai as early as 84. See, I first heard of Steve Vai when he uh, replaced Ingve in uh, Alcatraz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember all the, all the uh, like, the, the Carvin mm-hmm. advertisements yep. of, of Steve next to his amplifiers and with the mm-hmm. guitar. Might have been, like, that, that green meanie. And then I think it said he was an Alcatraz. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Michael Tagler, is that true? That Roth 
saying something on on flexible I did not know that that'd be that'd be interesting I know Steve, you guys Steve, just... Steve Stevens kicks butt on that crack cocaine song now with Ozzy and Billy Morrison I heard that I heard that that's cool if you guys are just tuning in don't forget we do giveaways and uh we're gonna let you guys pick which we which we do. We'll either do um, we'll either do the I got another copy of the magazine, Guitar World, Class of '84 with Edward on the cover. Um. So we'll either do that, or I did get some of the new EVH uh, Tortex guitar picks. So these are like. You guys know that the Tortex, uh, you know, the picks that are that are orange, yellow, green, all the, the fruit flavors. <laughs> fruit strike. There. Picks. Yeah. See there, you can tell. Yeah, it's not. These are not the Max Grip picks. These are Tortex and they're 88s. 88 miles an hour, Marty. You're going to see some serious shit. That's right. Right, Janice? So there you go. So we'll either do one or the other, but I am going to do a I am going to do a, a specialized video on on these as well. So look for that on the channel. And what? What's that? Oh, I'm being told uh, we need to play an ad. So here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janice. Time. Okay. And by the way, well, speaking of little guitars. <laughs> yeah, speaking of little guitars, I've got something to, to open here as well. So we'll do that. Uh, look at that. We're already an hour into this. Dang. All right, so we'll do an unboxing in a little bit. We got 27 thumbs ups. We got 60 watching. Actually, who's watching from where? I can actually tell you. We got 13 watching on X. I'm telling you, something's going on, man. Cool. We're growing on it. We're growing on X, man. Ever since I had my meeting over there, like we're, we're, Laz and I, we went over to X and we, we were talking to them. Yeah, that's amazing. We got that many people that you are over there You guys need now. to shoot up Seattle and go to Microsoft and tell them they need to bring back Windows 95. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. That, not, some of that didn't come out right, Ron. So you need to go up to Microsoft in Seattle and tell them they need to bring back Windows 95. Uh huh. Because that's the computer. That's the computer you're using. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 I got Windows ninety five. Probably. Probably. Dang. Then laptops right. Actually, I saw. I, I was. I. I stopped at In and Out Burger last night, and a car pulled up right in front of me, and I don't know what it was, but when they turned the the engine off. Mm -hmm. It had the sound of the computer shutting down. When you turn Windows off, it makes that Windows yeah. sound when it shuts down. The car made that sound. It was pretty crazy. Doop -doop -doop. I heard it. You know the the whole, the whole deal. Though it was funny. Anyway, it says we got we got about forty watching on YouTube. There you go. But yeah, we and we're on Twitch. Yeah, we're on EVH Gear Fans Live. But yeah, to have that many on X, that's. That's pretty Extraordinary. good. Extraordinary. <laughs> so make sure if you're watching, if you can hear me right now on X, which if you're there, give me a follow. Follow this channel you're watching this from on X. That'd be cool. Yes. Uh, okay, so we got an unboxing. We got a giveaway. We were kind of talking about Diver Down a little bit. Does X have commercials? J. Beebs is saying, um, I don't know. Not that I'm aware of. No, they have ads like every other tweet when you're scrolling, every other tweet is a sponsored tweet. So that is a commercial. But I, during the live stream, I don't think they do have commercials. So you guys actually feel free to jump around. Feel free to jump around from, from platform to platform and tune in. It's all the same show, 
but feel free to jump around help us out you know it helps the algorithm it helps like i was saying you know smash that like button you know heart the the tweet double tap the screen and speaking of heart mhm that was a segue into the story yeah but we weren't even done with this one yet Ron. yeah that's right i, I realized that after <laughs> i said it i'm sorry i was distracted by looking at the album label <laughs> well see there you van go. halen diver down side one <laughs> <laughs> he's like that should be called diver up <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Okay, so yeah, fair warning came out. Yeah, I read some of this the other day. So yeah, oh, this is what we were talking. This is what we were talking about. So fair, War fair warning was the previous album, all original tunes. It was their their their. What's what's the word? Not worst selling album, but least mediocre selling. selling. Well, not mediocre, but the um. What what's. What's what's the word? It didn't sell as well. Fair warning did not sell as well compared to all the previous records. Um, that could have been a reason why Diver Down had so many cover tunes because there were songs that the record company, you know, was was saying, hey, was probably saying, hey, these are already hit songs somewhere. If you you know redo if you redo them, you're halfway there. I think that was a part of kind of what they were telling them. That's something Eddie would say. Weakest album is fair to say. Michael was saying lower sales. There we go, Keith H. Lower sales. Fair warning. The fair warning album had the lowest sales at that time. Yeah, at that time. So. When uh, diver, when they when they wrote Diver Down, and I I told this story a couple of days ago. Van Halen gets off tour. Eighty one Fair Warning tour, and they come home. I guess they were going to take a break for a while, and then they decided, oh, you know, we should just put we should release a single, you know, at the top of the new year, just to let people know we're still still around. So they release Pretty Woman. And what happened next? It became a hit. It was it was ne it was either in or near the top ten on the chart. It was like at number ten or something, either ten or eleven or twelve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it become they they have a hit. They they have a single. And so back, you know, back in the day, you know, before everybody wanted to be a YouTuber, <laughs> you had to make a music video to play on the brand new channel called MTV. That's right, Skyprop. So they make they make a music video, but what happened was Chris King, I just saw you in, in the Facebook group. You just you just put a little emoji in there. I got that. So what happens is Van Halen they they, they have to go and, and record a music video for, for Pretty Woman, but the song is is much shorter than the footage for the video. So they end up recording a whole intro, which which has the title of Intruder. So if you guys ever see the Purdue Woman video, and that's right, who who just who just said that? I just, I just saw that. Sky Prop is saying that. Yeah, Van Halen. They release Purdue Woman the video. MTV plays it, I believe, like one time, and then it immediately gets banned from the channel. I think it was only played once. And why was that? It was banned. Let's ask the chat that. Why why was the Purdue Woman video banned on MTV? What was the reason for that? Did you, did you ever see the video? No. You never saw it? Let's see. Actually, we, we can actually do a... Uh, 
That's actually, we'll, we'll scrub through it. I'll show you guys. If my laptop will let, will let me. Van Halen. I remember hearing about this video when I was a kid, you know, reading about it in interviews and stuff and being like, man, I wish I could see that. And then I end up going to, to New York and I end up going to some record shops and in 1990, this was in 1994. And in 1994, you could, you could buy VHS tapes of like bootlegged shows. Um, and I found these tapes that had all these music videos on them, all these Van Halen music videos that at, at that point in 1994, I had never seen before. And look at this. We're talking 30 years, Marty. Yeah. 30 years. We're talking 30. 30 I'm talking about this like it's yesterday. And it's 30 years ago. Nice round number. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice round number. Maybe my headphones won't fall off in 30 years. Yeah. I don't know. I'm scared to death of the next 30 years, though, man. Okay. So check this out, you guys. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to play the video on here because of copyright, but I will, I will share the tab. We'll scroll through it a little bit. You said you've never seen it. I don't want to ruin this for anybody, but I would think most Van Halen fans have seen this video. Most oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. It's uh, one of them like in a cowboy outfit. Yes. Okay. I have seen that. Yes. Uh, years ago, though. You probably been, saw it. It's when, been years. When it was brand new. I may have. You probably I am that old. <laughs> yeah, see, look, it says Van Halen. Look at this. So this was one of their first. No, technically this what well. Was it? Was it their first? It was the first video where, where they like played parts, where they acted. Yeah, Eddie's the cowboy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they had made videos before this. They had made music videos for, they actually made for the first album. They had made uh, three videos for you really got me running with the devil and Jamie's crying. They were like performance videos where they lip synced the songs. And there's, those were shot, I believe at the, at the whiskey a go, go, I believe. Let me know in the chat or or down below in the comments on playback. And then in 79, they did three uh, music videos, live performance videos, which are really cool. For Dance the Night Away, uh, You're No Good, and Bottoms Up, I think. Is that true? Is that right, you guys? Um, and then, okay, Sky Prop is sent. Yeah, they did one for Loss of Control, but... That was a performance video where they were playing, but they were kind of dressed up. They were dressed up as doctors. And then there was a, a lip sync video for um, uh, Fools. Pretty interesting video. And then there was the long lost dinosaur video, which I did a, a, a video on, on here about uh, a few years ago when that was unearthed, where they were performing next to these huge dinosaurs fair warning era and it turns out it was it was a performance video for so this is love very very weird very cool though so anyway so they're one of their first music videos where they actually you know there was a, a budget and production i mean look at this they're like acting in this this was this was uh one of their first videos for 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 pretty woman there, just said it. Where was it? I just saw it? Oh, Van Halen in Pretty Woman. There they are. There they are. And then, so this is really the reason why, this is one of the reasons why the video was banned. Because you, you had the, these, these people here basically harassing this person that's like tied up. <laughs> I mean... If you guys haven't seen this video, where I don't know, but this is it's pretty cra it's pretty crazy, man. 
<laughs> and then you got this guy at home watching. It's like he's watching our show here. Back then, that TV was probably seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Color TV, <laughs> twelve-inch color TV, four or five hundred bucks. Look at that, at video only. Yeah. If you don't buy it from them, you'll be sorry. You ever hear those commercials? No. Maybe it's a Bay Area thing. All right, look at that. He's got all kinds of like, what's going on here? Cups and cans and <laughs> look at that. But this guy, he lives, he lives like in a, like in a tower. 13 anyway, so, he, so he's watching this on TV. <laughs> I don't know. He's why apparently this is going on live, kind of like this show. See, that's the original YouTube right there. So he's watching and he, he's like changing the channels. He's like, wait a minute. He's like, All what's going on? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? And look, his place is a mess. There's trash everywhere. So he climb he climbs out. Oh, this is happening right outside his house. This is happening right outside his house. He's like, oh my goodness, what's going on? <laughs> is that Marty Feldman's brother? <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, so he goes, he 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 uh he finds the telephone through all the trash. He finds the phone. Oh, yeah. So he finds the telephone. And again, I don't want to ruin this video for anybody that's never seen it. I'm assuming most of you have seen this. I'm assuming. If you haven't, it's on Van Halen's official YouTube channel. You can watch it. So anyway, he's like, hey, you know, that person's in, in, in trouble. We need to help them. So he makes some calls. And the first person he calls up is Michael Anthony. And he's like a samurai warrior. <laughs> he's like, you know, he has a sword and everything. But, you know, his phone rings. By the way, this is story time, if you guys haven't noticed. That, that could have been John Belushi. It could have been, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the sam the samurai, yeah. the, uh, the burger. Samurai place. delicatessen. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been based on that. Could have been. So, so anyway, he happens to have a, a telephone outside. One of those phones. <laughs> Look at that, and it's attached. Yeah, it's attached. You had to, to the answer side. without knowing who was on the other end. Ooh, scary. Yeah. So, he, but what he, I liked about those, when you was mad at someone, you could slam it down and hang up on them. Now mm -hmm. your cell phone you just hit off. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he he answers the phone. Yeah, he, he answers the he answers the phone. I can. He's. A, I need you. He's he's saying whatever you just said. And then I, I think he gets on his horse. Oh, he puts he puts on his mask or his, his helmet and gets on his horse. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so he gets on his horse and then and then this guy he calls up Alex, who's Tarzan. So I think he, he's he's in there. He's eating. Guitar man. Yeah. He answers the phone. He has a phone too. Well, the jungle is a lonely place. You got to be able to call his way to any other numbers. Yeah. So he answers the phone. And then he gets up. He does the Tarzan yell. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. So he, he does the Tarzan. He gets up, does the Tarzan yell. Okay, the next guy that gets a phone call is Eddie Van Halen, and he's a cowboy. I'm wondering if they use the same phone for each of these shots, because they were it's all a black phone. It's all like the same looking one. They probably oh, did, huh? Ma Bell had a lot of black phones back then. 
So he's watching. He's watching this, or the guy. The guy at, at home is wa- is still watching this. He's like, I can't believe this, you know. Eddie hears it. Yeah, so he's talking to him. So Eddie hears about this. There he is. <laughs> so again. So what you're hearing this entire time, during during most of the beginning, you're hearing intruder. You're hearing the, the intruder that has all the, all the sound effects of the guitar, you know, the keyboard, all that stuff. So you hear most of that, and then it, it goes right into Pretty Woman. So there's Edward. He grabbed his gun. Colt, single action army. There you go. He grabbed that, puts it away, and then from here you, you start you start to see. I think this is where the pretty woman comes in. The, the the music. This is where you got Michael riding his horse. So everybody is racing to the guy's house to help out the the woman with with the with the guys out in the front there. So David Lee Roth is Napoleon. He's sitting there, I guess, uh, writing or something. Yeah, see, there he is. He's, now he's okay. That's a different phone now. He has that one. I remember those same phones, but they also had to dial on them instead of the push button. Mm-hmm. I know telephone man. Who has a t- who still has a, a telephone in their house? In the chat, who who still uses a, a phone like that? Or what would you call it? Like a wired phone? Landline. Landline. Who still has a landline? My grandmother had the or Nona. So if I say Nona, people's like, "What the hell was that?" That's Italian. But she had the one you pick up the receiver and crank. Mm-hmm. Sarah, Sarah, can you connect me with the diner? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janice has a landline. Jed's wondering if I ever used a rotary phone. What's a rotary phone? It's got the numbers on a circle. Kind of like spinning a number, the wind. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, if you had to dot the rotary phone, when a, when a uh, radio station have a contest for the caller, man, that sucked because you had to dial seven numbers and let it ring back and so yeah. what you do, you, you dial it and shove it back yourself and try to get to the other number real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I remember in 91, when I was living in Lincoln, Nebraska, our local radio station, they had, a, when Van Halen came to town, one of those tours. It would have been Carnal Knowledge Tour. They had a contest, uh, probably for free tickets. Could have been for backstage passes, which... Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine winning that stuff back then, but I remember I kept calling on the phone and then I would hit redial. Mm-hmm. So it would redial, busy signal, hang up, pick it up, redial, busy signal, nonstop until what sucked was when you're trying to win something on the radio. See, not like on this show where you try to win stuff. You're having to type a lot of numbers in. We know that. <laughs> but and we're, we're we working had to do on it. With it. The rotaries, damn it. We were work we're working on giveaways on this channel, but but uh what sucked back in the day when you were trying to win something on the radio and you would call it maybe it's still like that today. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't call up radio stations now, but what sucked is when you were trying to win something, it's busy, 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 and then finally it rings. And you hang up. No, finally it rings and they answer. And you said, what color, what color am I? And they're like, contest is over and they hang up. Like you finally get through and like you had lost. So I did that a couple of times where you, you know, dialing so fast, you know, you like click, busy, click, busy, click, hello, click. Damn it. That they wasn't busy. You're just so used to hitting it again because it was always busy. They answer you mess. Yeah. Man. You have that. 
So anyway, so Napoleon gets the phone call. There's Edward riding the horse. Okay, is that, so is that really him though, riding the horse? I don't know. Knows how they had to the mask over the face. Yeah, yeah. It might not be. It could be. I don't know. But there he is. He's walking. Look at Paris that. Paris, Paris. I haven't looked up. I haven't looked this up, but I'm assuming that might be at his actual house because he lived. He grew up in a mansion in Pasadena. That could that could have been his actual house there. Probably his dinner right? clothes. Right, Gary Holt. Gary Holt, great talking to you. I t- I talked Gary Holt and I talked on the phone yesterday for like an hour when I was driving up to the East Bay. Great to meet you, Gary Holt. Awesome, awesome dude. Oh, there, yeah, there he is. Great talking your ear off. Dude, it was great talking to you too, man. That was Dave's formal formal dinner attire right there. Hmm. They say he had the Napoleon complex. Yeah, this might have been actual footage of Dave at dinner, and they just used it for the video. <laughs> it might have been. David. David. <laughs> it could have been. So... Okay, so apparently it's dark now, and they're still hanging out. <laughs> they're still hanging out here. I think I dated her once. Yeah. Well, wait till the end of this video, Ron. <laughs> this is all starting to make sense now, Ron. I know. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay, now the guy's dressed up like an Indian, which should be a very, which should be very insulting to me because I am Native American, but um. Maybe that's why it was banned. Maybe it's because <laughs> this Never video know. would get banned now because the guy's wearing a headdress. That would be the reason why now. So, all right. So everybody shows up. Everybody shows up, and finally, these guys. One. What's what's the guy on the on the left? A, a magician. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a who done it, who dean. <laughs> it's a magician. <laughs> you got a magician and a, and a Native American. Okay. They show up. <laughs> oh, this video is funny. Okay, so they show up. These guys are scared, man. They're like, oh, no. <laughs> hey, he was in one of the original Star Trek episodes. Plato's stepchildren. Really? Yeah. He might, maybe. He was like the little court jester. Really? Yep. Wow. Look at that. So they're having a standoff for a while. You know, he, he's, you know, these guys, these guys are scared, man. Anyway, so now this car pulls up, or the limo. The limousine. I like this. We should do Van Halen video story time from now on. This, this is fun, and it kill it kills a lot of time. So, Michael, I'm full of useless knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, well, oh. over. <laughs> oh no, we can't see the rest of it. <laughs> you have to hit play for a minute got the volume off i know well it's here let me just do this because i here yeah it's not just the volume it's the it's the image as well can i can i x out of these i can't even x out of these we're gonna miss the end of this video we can't even x it wouldn't even sammy gets out of the limo (laughs) yeah rock daddy anyway Roth shows up. We can't Napoleon. even. See, we can't even see this. Okay, so they're looking at him. He's looking at them. I just had dinner at home, guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so he's he's looking. Okay, and this this is the ending. 
So she comes running over. She pulls her wig off and comes running over, and it turns out it's a guy. So that, that's the end of the video. There, there, yeah, you, actually, you can, you, can, you, can, you can see her better there. There you go. So that, that, that's the end. <laughs> Therefore, the video was, was banned from MTV. Never to be seen again. There you go. <laughs> Rock. Yeah. There you go, Jason. Yeah. 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 It was a cross dresser in that. And that actually was um the the person that played that. We actually on one of the Strider nights years ago, we actually talked about this video and we looked we looked all this up. The the the, the person that played the the cross dresser at the end was an actual uh cross dresser but but uh they unfortunately unfortunately i think they they've, they've passed away i don't think they're yeah i know well they put those those uh videos on top we couldn't even we couldn't even see the ending of the video man okay so long story even longer that <laughs> video that video was banned from MTV. Only seen one time. And then it wasn't until years later, you know, I got to see it. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then, of course, YouTube comes out and, you know, everything's on YouTube now. Even things you don't want to see. On YouTube? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. When you click on a video because the title says something and then it comes up and says, are you 18? I just click off. On YouTube? Yeah. You said click off, right? Yes. <laughs> X out. How about that? <laughs> Triple X. <laughs> no. No, I just said, I just said, uh, speaking about heart. That's all. Mm hmm. When he, he, Jeff asked if I was going to say something about heart. And... Oh, well, there's, there's a story. We, we can, we can get to that. There's another story. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, diver down. What are your thoughts in the chat? Yeah. What are your guys' thoughts of, of the album? It's half covers. But, I mean, by this point, the cover tunes, I mean, Van Halen, Van Halen made them their own songs anyway by now. So it's, it's, it's like, I mean, when most rock fans think of You Really Got Me, they think of Van Halen. You know? Um, or Dancing in the Street. I mean, you think of the Van Halen version. Pretty Woman, yeah, even even Pretty Woman. Although, well, I mean, the Roy Orbison version is still. I mean, that's. Yeah. Yeah, but. I th I think it's a fun I think it's a fun album. I like it. Yeah, that's cool. You're no good. I think Van Halen fans think of you're no good if they think of, or, or Van Halen fans think of their version. Of, I would think the majority of people, I would think the Linda Ronstadt version would people more, the casual, more, you know, rock uh, music fans would think of the Ronstadt version. I don't know if they would think of the Van Halen version. First. I always think of the Linda Ronstadt version. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what I would think. And did you know the Eagles before they were the Eagles was her band? No. Yep. That's cool. Just it's like Toto different. Toto was Boz Skaggs' band. Hmm. 
Bob Skaggs played guitar for Steve Miller. Oh, cool. Did you hear that, Turkey? <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm-mm. It's walking. Oh. It's walking, right? It just walked right across my window, this huge turkey. Do you have turkeys, or are they just hanging out because everything else? Oh, they they live here. There's huge flocks of turkeys that live here. Yeah, they're always here. They they uh, they live. They go to sleep in the trees right here. They fly. Turkeys fly. I don't know if you guys know this. They fly straight up into the trees right there. There, you hear that? That was a turkey. Now I'm waiting to see a Cowboys football game on TV. Mm-hmm. That's what happens every Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, here's here's the songs right here. There we go. Let's check this out. One, the first one and the last one are my favorites. Yeah, I went through this list uh, when I did the video the other day. Yeah, I mean, good. Where have all the good times gone? Yeah, I think the Van Halen version of that is more more yeah. famous than the than the kinks version although if you guys want some trivia again as i as i had said uh a couple days ago the very very beginning of of good times on the van halen on the album the very very beginning is actually the ending of the song secrets it's just reversed and that's that's the truth it's uh it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool thing. Um, let's see, "Hang 'Em High." That was a that was a song that they actually did. Um, uh, f- a, that was a, 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 an original uh, under a different name. It was actually called "Last Night," and it's actually on the CD here, the demo version. It says "Last Night" right there. That is Hang 'em High. Musically, it's the same. It's not the same recording, but it's the same structure, same uh, uh, music, just different words. Uh, Cathedral was a song that that uh, Eddie would play during his uh, his his guitar solo on the Fair Warning tour. It was just a little different, but it ended up. He worked it up, and it ended up being, being you know, being what it is. And then he would, from then on, he would he would play it, he would use it, you know, during his solos. Intruder was a, a piece of music that was written to extend the the song for the music video for Pretty Woman. And I kind of did, I did a guitar lesson years and years and years ago on it. It's on my channel here on YouTube. And then on my ASMR show this Sunday, I actually played, I did both secret uh, intruder into, I I didn't, I didn't do secrets. I'm sorry. I did intruder into pretty woman. Secrets was, uh, just, a, a slower song. I don't know if it'd be a ballad considered a ballad, maybe. But I think a lot, a lot of uh, Roth era fans. I think uh, "Secrets" is like one of their favorite songs. You get a lot of fans that that are like, "Yeah, this is this is good." So we talked those "Dancing in the Street." Of course, was a uh, originally um, the piece of music that you hear that that Eddie used. That was something Eddie was going to use for another song. For an original, and when Ted Templeman heard it, he said, "Hey, use this would be good for dancing in the street." So I don't think Edward was happy <coughs> about about using that, but he he did. <laughs> Dance in the street, uh, little guitars intro. I mean, that's just a a piece Edward had worked up, and he was really he was really good at figuring out ways how to how to make pieces of music sound a certain way wh- whether he could play in that style or not and 
Little Guitars is a good example of that, doing the, the flamenco uh, part. Because he would do the trilling. He would do the high trilling and then the hammer-ons with, with the left hand. That's something he, he came up with. And of course, little speaking of little guitars, that's that's another song a lot of a lot of Roth era fans really, I think, really dig. There's certain songs where where you get the fans and they're they're like, yeah, this is a great one. This is a great one. I you got at least a you got a few of those on this record here. Little guitars, little guitars. There you go. That looks great. nice, clean. That looks nice, it, cleaned it up. Does, right? I was amazed it cleaned up like this. Because that thing's been sitting in the corner over there for nine years now, just hanging out. I mean, I was just, I was really shocked. I was like, wow, it, it came out pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Wow. Look, so you can see my lights. You see the guitars? You see that? Mm-hmm. Some of them. Yeah, look at that back even so so people we got to decide on the color needs to be decided yes very soon crackle <laughs> let me see i don't know if, if it's youtube but we're having like technical issues right now excuse me having technical issues we're having techno. If if you're watching on YouTube right now, um, press press a one in the chat right now. This is not for the giveaway. Just press a one in the chat Here, Ryan, if you're other, watching on YouTube. Here's the other wall, Lance. Maybe. John. Yeah. Yeah. And again, this is not for the giveaway, but just press a, a number one just because it's easy. Because yeah, I think YouTube is having a problem right now. Okay, there's more than two people here. Because, see, it's telling me, it's telling me there's two people watching the show right now. <laughs> but according to you guys, that's not the case. See, there we are. See, look, it's telling me now we have five people watching. Yeah, it's telling me there's one person watching the show. I know that's not the case because I see, like, all, all of you guys not showing watchers wrong. Yeah, see, look, look, you hear that? That was a turkey. See, look, it says there's one person watching the show right now. Here, listen, there's a turkey walking by. Listen to this, listen. Say something. Now they're not doing it. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what does it look like on your guys' end? Oh, you see 43 watching? Yeah, mine keeps jumping. Mine keeps jumping from 1... To 20. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Gobble it up. What? <laughs> yeah, you can't hear anything now because now, now they're not saying nothing. Okay, but you guys are here. You guys are here. Okay, good. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I've noticed this for a few minutes. That the numbers keep, keep, just keep jumping. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it's telling me there's only one message. Two messages now. Uh, little guitars, turkey sing. You guys want to hear the turkey? Yeah, I wanted you guys to hear the turkey sing a song, but but it went away. <laughs> Sweet William, now little guitars. Yeah, another you know Roth era fan favorite. This album, you have several songs that are huge fan favorite songs. Um. 
Uh, Little Guitars is definitely one of them. Uh, Secrets is definitely one of them. And then uh, Big Bad Bill. That was a song that Roth heard on a little uh, uh, Walkman radio. I think he was in, in Lowville, Kentucky. And he, and he heard that. We have 38 thumbs ups, Keith H. says. Thank you, guys. Big Bad Bill. And that's that's a song where you actually get three Van Halens. Edward Nalks's father played clarinet on that song. The Full Bug. I think that's another like Roth era fan favorite right there, The Full Bug. That's like a, a that's that's like a just a, a, a classic. There he do you hear that? Yep. Did you hear that? That's a turkey. Listen. You guys, everybody be quiet. The turkey's back. Now he's not saying nothing. <laughs> gobble, gobble. I don't have a turkey call anymore. See if I can make one. Oh, well. <laughs> B9. Hey, man. Nope, can't make one with that. Anyway, what time is this? Okay, where were we? The full bug. <laughs> Better than the full Monty. <laughs> yeah. The full bug. Yeah, that's that's just a, a classic, like, just the... the, the just the riffs in that. I I think uh, that I I I could say <laughs> that song was was done a lot of times. Um, you know, many there were many songs released after that that were kind of kind of similar. I think in the rock genre, the hair metal genre, you know. A lot of similar type of type of sounding songs, and then after that, Happy Trails, you know, and not many people know that was a, a song that they did record for their first album demos. So there is another version of that. You can hear them singing. It's very similar to to the one on the album here. And then they would end their their uh, shows on the on the Diver Down tour. With that. It says there's only two people watching. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I asked people to press a one in the chat just to see how many people were here. Because, yeah, for me, it keeps fluctuating, fluctuating between one and 20. It's like there's some issues right now. So there you go. Diver Down. Great album. Look at that amazing, amazing photo there. Although, if you want to get technical, that photo was actually taken on the Fair Warning Tour. And in the chat, this photo right here, where was that taken? Either where was it or wh what was the, 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 uh, the show? They actually performed with another really huge band at the time at this show. Who was the other band? Let's see. Maybe there is only one person watching this. <laughs> Now it says there's two in my life. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I get my drinks half price. Mm. For every one you buy, I get two. <laughs> there you go. Rolling Stones. Yeah, Van Halen was opening for the Rolling Stones. I believe this was, that's right, it was in Florida. 81 Fair Warning Tour. Jeff Davidson. There you go. There it is. Wait a minute. Let me just see something. Oh, that's cool. I get I get alerts. Like cool Van Halen stuff. I get these alerts that go off. And got some cool photos. Pretty rare. It's like photos of uh, Van Halen on the 5150. Mm -hmm. Alternate shots from the 5150 album cover. They're mm -hmm. all in the straight jackets. Pretty cool, huh? I tried There's to no. break out of a straight jacket once at a party. Did you hear that? I heard the tur turkey again. Why were you in a straight jacket at a party? No, because someone had one. They're like, let's see if you can get out of it. And so they, they put you in that? and, and I, I volunteered to get in it, then they did terrible things to me with a fork. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would if I would um if I'd want to do that. I'm claustrophobic, so I really yeah. Oh yeah. Horribly. Yeah, I sit here and like try everything and get out of it. Mm hmm Well it's tied it's like tied up, right? In the back yeah. or something. Yeah. So you're well, just like this. Tied. Uh, you got a strap that goes underneath of you and around the back, and your arms are tied, and it's, everything's in the back. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to wiggle, get out of it, and get one arm out and get it down, untied, and uh, it didn't work. Yeah, Jeff Davidson, I agree, man. I mean, unless I was in Van Halen doing a photo shoot for an album cover. Yeah, I wouldn't volunteer to get into a straight jacket either. Nope. Nope, that's fine. I mean, unless it was like turned around in the front. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Would that be different? <laughs> there you go. You had to dial 911 with the, on a rotary phone with your nose. <laughs> Ow terrible things to me with a fork and I then I yelled and they let me out oh my gosh because I told myself if you guys think I'm going to forget who did what that ain't going to happen it's not happening mm -mm. wow um Let's see. Okay, well, what time is it? Okay. Oh, crap, I've got an unboxing. What? We have giveaways or a no. giveaway. Might as well start the giveaway then while, they, while they're guests and do the unboxing. There you go. Work smarter, not harder. There it is, man. There we go. Okay. That sounds that sounds good to me. Unless Peggy gets it or Lewis gets it right away. Mm-hmm. Although Peggy's slipping. Wow. Okay. All right. What are we doing? Okay. 
let's do okay we'll do a poll here participant oh wait that's not what we want poll wait wait wrong place where am i down here no wait here they keep changing stuff around <laughs> okay for the giveaway today giveaway item you got the guitar world magazine or or copper paint <laughs> or some copper paint or you got the or evh slime green paint Come on. <laughs> Which, okay. by the way, this is uh, Montana. Also does the crackle. Mm -hmm. It's Montana black. Nice. Okay, there's a poll in the chat. Do you want, do you, you guys tonight, do you either want the Guitar World Class of 84 magazine or a pack of the Van Halen Tortex guitar picks? Which one? You want the turkey? Okay, we'd have to go catch them. Okay, vote now. If you can. If you can't, then I know there is a problem going on right now with YouTube. PS5, robot. For Call of Duty. Poll isn't working. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, YouTube is broken right now. Yeah, okay. I kept voting. It kept telling me my vote didn't count. It won't let me vote. They're saying, okay, let me do a quick... I, I can find out. But just, just go with picks this time, since that's new. Um, latest... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Friend of mine plays that robot. I haven't tried it, tried it yet. <clears throat> YouTube. Okay, yeah. YouTube is broken. YouTube is tripping. YouTube is broken. <laughs> oh, excuse me. YouTube. Okay. All right. Yeah, YouTube is messed up right now. That's what's going on. So you guys can't vote. It won't even let me shut the poll. <laughs> it's saying error occurring. Okay, what'd you say? Guitar picks? I'd say you just go with the picks since they're new. Because you gave away okay. a magazine last week. I've given away four of those magazines. Okay, let's see if you guys can even do the... Uh... Okay, so you guys will be bidding... Uh, bidding typing for a set of the EVH Tortex guitar picks. Uh, we'll do, we'll give away the sixties. I would assume most people would want the, the point sixties. So you guys, this is what the, yeah. Numbers in the chat right now, roll it. This should be okay. fine. You should be able to, to do this. Okay. Enter a number now between zero and 5150. And, uh, ooh. If you guys need a hint, wow, man. That's not a bad number, let me just say. How many numbers? Three I'm not going to say yet. I'm huh. not going to say it. Okay, EVH. Okay, again, this is the... the EV and I will do a dedicated video for these picks. Maybe tomorrow. I'll do a dedicated video for this, for these, because as far as I know, they're they're new. These are new, or they're recent. Recent. These are the Tortex. These are the Tortex picks. They are not the Max Grip. Okay. They are not. And here, let's just. Uh, they're not Max Grip. <laughs> they're not. Do I have? Do I have a? a do I have a? a Do I have a Frankenstein pick to show you guys? I might not have one. What? Oh, wait. How could you not have one? Come because on. I, no, 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 no. Because I give them all away. Johnny Bean, he'd be nice. 
mean be nice. Yeah, I didn't mean. Look at look at all these guitar picks. This this is my my box of, of picks. Okay, I found one of these. This is an EVH. This is the Max Grip. Meaning, you see the grip it has on the top? Yep. You see the how it like sticks out the uh well the grip. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there's an EVH. I'll keep this one out. We'll give that we'll give that one away. Okay, I do have a Bumblebee one sitting here. This is the Max Grips. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Now I see it. See, it says Dunlop. See all the all the grip there? Make sure you guys don't get the Dunlop disease. Yeah. Look. This is the Max Grip. On this side, it should say Max Grip. There it is. Max Grip. Look at that. See that? On that side, it says Edward Van Halen. It does. See, you can perfectly see that. I'm going to go ahead and open one of these up. I'm going to go ahead and open one of these anyway. I'm going to give away the 60s. I'm going to... Uh, I'm Michael, open... for her. What? Nothing. <laughs> he, he, he typed something and I just finished it. Okay, I was going to do a video on these anyway. Well, I, I bought three of them, so I have two left. Okay, I'm going to open up one of these. I want to show you guys. Might as well open it up on video since we're here. Along with the unboxing. I can always reuse this footage anyway. I can, I can uh, what do you call it, repurpose this. I should just do the video now. Should I? Should I just do the no, video now? No, no, you do, it and I do another one that's some more content. And we just repurpose? Well, yeah. but no, no, no. If I do it now, the video I do now, I re-upload later. Okay. There you so go. It's, so I'm, I'm getting it done with. You need one of those movie cards. Scene, act two. <laughs> I know. Janice, can you please send Johnny a tweet to get one of the uh, movie scene click plates? I used to have What's one. It's called a slate. Yeah, I used to have one of those, as a matter of fact. We, when I had my home theater when we lived in Springfield, so I had an actual home theater in the basement and I had it all decorated with movie posters and popcorn mm -hmm. machine and, and that thing. And I, I would write on whatever movie I was showing that night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Yeah, we bought that house off of a ER doctor. Oh, wow. 13 rooms. And it had a soundproof room in the basement already because she was a female doctor and she let she had a, a, a cousin or somebody band would come and practice in the one of the rooms in the basement so it was already soundproof which come in real handy thank you janice Okay. Sorry. You guys are guessing. Did anybody win yet? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys need a hint, then it's actually a pretty good number. I can, I can, you guys can, I'll give you guys a hint in about uh, three hours. <laughs> Just kidding. I will give you a hint. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I'll get more of these. I'll get more of these. Okay. I'll, I'll do I want to do the video later. I, I won't do it now. I'll do it later. Okay. But I am going to open these up. I'm, I'm going to open these up because I want to show you guys what these are. Okay. These are the, um, these are the, we're, we're giving away the 60s because those are the ones I think most people would want are the 60s. Because it was free love in the 60s. It was. And they were also, that's the, the, uh, get the, the, uh, the gauge that, that Eddie used. For the 60s point six zero so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up these are the one point zeros these are the heavier ones which I'll, I'll probably end up using these myself there we go 
Okay. Uh, California didn't like them using plastic anymore. Uh, we don't. We don't. We don't use plastic bags at, at supermarkets. So now we're back to killing all the trees. <laughs> well, yeah. It's it's it's. There's never an answer. No. That's pretty cool. These actually look really cool as as the Tortex. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So I keep thinking you're going to say Tortellini. Tortellini. But they look really they look really sharp like that. Look at that. And look at this. You can see the lead. You can see the lead in my hand. When I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, I got, I got stabbed with a pencil. And you can see it. There it is right there. There's the lead. You know what's hand. funny? <laughs> like right here. I, at seventh grade, I walked into a history class and I slammed my notebook down and I had a pencil in a spiral. Oh. And, and it went right in there and broke off. And it, you, yeah, it's still there. <laughs> you got some of that too? Yeah. <laughs> now you guys know why we are the way we are because all the lead in our blood lead in the system speaking of that did you see where the uh the chinese guitars the the cheap knockoff guitars are testing positive for lead paint mm -mm. yep wow that's not good Anybody who's a fisherman has been around lead their whole life. Yeah. Look at that, though. That's that's sharp, man. That's cool. That looks good. There you go. Anyway, these are the, the, the Dunlop Tortex. They feel great. You, you can actually feel... You can actually feel some of the striping, and you can feel the, sig the signature on the back. You can feel that. Anyway, tonight's giveaway is for a pack of these, the 60s. So these right here will go to somebody. Okay. So numbers in the chat. Numbers in the chat. While we do that, I have an unboxing to do. We will do that. Check this out. This arrived today or yesterday. I wasn't at the post office yesterday. <laughs> That's okay. All right, check this out. I got some ASMR material here. When did that actually become a thing? Because that's the most ignoring, a, a, annoying thing I've ever heard. Doing this? Yes. Yeah. I'd yeah. You pop the pop the air bubbles is better than just crinkling. Actually, now that I have a cat, it sounds like a mouse underneath the... That's what a mouse sounds like. When, when, he, when it was a, he's hunting for the mouse, that's what you hear. We even have the carpet. There's like a carpet that's his right here. It makes that same sound. Look. Ugh. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? Pockets of air. We got 60 people watching right now. Tuesday tonight is kicking in. What is this? Whoa! No way! Look at this. Oh man! Gibson pickup shop original tone. The Kramer collection. Are you kidding? What is this? 
Send that. We'll put it in a little guitar. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that. Kramer pickup shop or Gibson pickup shop. Kramer collection. Original tone. Neptune. It's called the Neptune. Um, actually, I don't want to open these. That that's going to be a separate video too. So it was just an unboxing. Tune in for another video where I actually open these. But you got some Gibson Kramer pickups. Right oh, there. Oh, they sent you two. Wow. There you go. Does come from Gibson or somebody? Says Gibson on the box. Gibson, uh, yep, Nashville. Cool. Dude. Gibson. So, let's see. Option Trouble, Neptune, T. Okay. So it's two different pickups. So I'm going to assume it's a bridge and a, a neck. All right. So look for a video. Look for a video of these. Very cool. Be doing a... Uh, Probably a guitar ASMR with these uh, in a guitar. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gibson. Right on. Cool. All right. Let's see. Okay. You guys want a hint? Four digits. Whoops. That wasn't subliminal like it usually is. <laughs> Four digits. Okay. Four digits. Two of the numbers are exactly the same, and two of the numbers go in sequence. Sequence. That's a pretty good hint. Yeah, kind of like what MPN just did there. Very much like what MPN just did there, except not. Very much like what MPN just did, but not that. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Dude. All I got to do is slice this tape now. <laughs> Cuz T Fetch, you won you won these too. And you guys, before you guys get mad and stuff, it's all you know? I I used I used to have a, a rule where you had to win once. That's when we were doing that spinning thing where you couldn't control control it. With this, it's all you know, luck. So, T Fetch, now you really have a, a reason to send me your info for this. <laughs> what was that noise? Is that the record breaking? <laughs> nah, I, I hear somebody yelling. Hang on. Anyway, I hear somebody yelling. I think they're yelling for a dog or something. All right. So, T Fetch. Um, send me your info for this. I will slice this open and, uh, and drop these in there. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Music stream. Every, no, every, 
Ever notice, hear about it later, are the same chords that became jump on a synthesizer. Is that true? Is that true, man? That's cool. If that's true. Even if it ain't. Even if it ain't, it's a good story. <laughs> yeah. Very good. There, but I want... Huh? Wait, 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 wait. What are you saying? Wait, I'm, he's, he's texting me now. You're saying... Uh, I'm T-Fetch, please. Oh! That's me. What? That's you in that photo? Yeah. We can't even see it. What? I know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am right there in the ESP shirt, standing in the back corner. Right cool. there. Awesome. <laughs> you guys, that's me right there. <laughs> Which it actually is. That's me as a, as a Funko Pop. But... I don't have a Funko Pop. It's a little too far away. You got to go to Hollywood and get one. You got to well, win the if, the, I, the... if I if I came to Hollywood, getting a Funko Pop would be the last thing I'd be thinking about. Mm-hmm. You got to win the golden ticket on on American Idol. <laughs> then you're going to Hollywood. Do you guys watch American Idol? They taped it yesterday. I don't know if it was actually on. I don't know if it airs the same day as they tape. But I know they were taping it because Katy Perry, who's one of the, the hosts. Yeah, wardrobe she, malfunction. She went live because she was wearing this dress that like was breaking. Yeah. It made national news, apparently. Golden but copper, people? Worldwide news. Okay. Okay, T Fetch. T Fetch. Okay. All right, this makes sense. I got a message from. Okay. All right, so T Fetch. All right, I. St Wait. Um. Oh. And then, the other text I got about those Van Halen guitar picks, the ones that you own, the guy that's texting me. Yes, those are real. I, I mean, they can't. They they. Well, actually, those, well, from what they look like, man, I, I get a lot of messages. I'm just realizing, <laughs> hang on. Can you, can you resend me the photos of those guitar picks? The Van Halen ones from 84? Because there's no way I can find the, the message that you sent me. But T Fetch, message me your info to send those guitar picks, okay? And we'll do that. If you're still here. <laughs> Say something. He celebrated, <laughs> he won. Say. Say la mes vie. Message me. And then you guys in the chat are saying that uh, That the the chords to to what is it is the same as jump? Okay, I just got your message. T fetch, that's you, right? Got it. All right, I will send I will send that stuff out first thing tomorrow. T fetch. EVH Frankenstein 60s guitar picks. T fetch. Okay. All right. Oh, man. All right. We got that. <laughs> we got that. We're getting more messages. Save the address. Yeah, maybe I should. 
I should be. I, I get so many. When you put a phone number on the internet like this, man, you get so many text oh, messages sure. all the time from people. And the thing is, when anybody <laughs> sends me a text to that, I don't know who it is. Like, never. <laughs> I never know who it is. So when you text that number, you know, a lot of times it's like, hi, Johnny, blah, blah, blah. It really helps if you just let me know just who you are. <laughs> it's kind of like Ron talking about answering that old phone with the cable and the, the spinning. Hello? Hello, who are you? Yeah. Joe's Pooh Hall, eight ball speaking. Yeah. Or the old, is your refrigerator running? Yes. Well, you better go catch it. <laughs> I know. Why is, why is the refrigerator run off? You think know. it'd be too heavy with all the food in there? <laughs> yeah, Prince Albert in a can. Yeah, better let him out. He'll, he'll suffocate. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, we did. We had all kind of fun. Until they did came up with the Star 69 thing and people would call you back. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's when all the fun was ruined. Yeah, that's right. Can't believe it. Can't believe they did that to us. Wait. Oh, wait. Somebody won. Okay, we did that. That's over with. Okay, good. Yeah. Ah. T-Fetch won. T-Fetch was the winner. Okay. Wait, you guys are still putting things? Yeah, YouTube is messed up tonight, man. Oh, my gosh. YouTube is really screwed up. Hello, YouTube. It's really screwed up. Although, it is telling me now we're, we're back to having... 38. Uh, huh? Mine says 38. Yeah. It says we have 39 on YouTube, 22 on X. Dude. X marks the spot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then Facebook is totally, whoops, totally useless. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Zuckerberg. Oh there, oh, there we go. Now the chat's finally moving over here the chat was stuck during the oh the guessing game now the numbers are finally it's scrolling whoop don't hit that button okay man oh yeah yeah this stuff's really messed up man <laughs> Probably another solar flare. Yeah, I mean, it was like that, what, a couple weeks ago? Yep. It was all screwed up. Now it's 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 okay, somewhat. <sighs> um. Okay, we might we might as well keep going a little bit. I mean, this tonight was only going to be a couple hours, but we're already. Go another seven minutes, make it thir two and a half. <laughs> yeah, we'll go another seven minutes. Okay, look at this. Okay. All right, Sean sent these in. This is a photo of a, a Van Halen guitar pick that he said uh, this. he was given this? You were given this? Cool. There you go. It has oh, the classic Ben Helm logo it. on, on one side. Wait a minute. I'm getting all sorts of messages too at the same time, so I got to be careful. And then there's there's the opposite side right there. So is it a real guitar pick? I mean, if someone were to ask me that with those photos, that that pick did exist, that design. That was a, a 1984 design. It's rare. I mean, if it's real, yeah, if it's real, it's it's considered rare, I would say. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's, how many do you think would be out there? 
thousands. Four point four point two. Four point two. Hear about it later. You guys want me to listen to hear about it later? From a roadie. If that guitar pick is from a roadie. I mean, because of the era it's from, I would say it's rare. Yeah. 19, well, 40 years ago. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, if you were, if, well, just any, any guitar picks, you know, from, yeah, any any Van Halen picks really are, are I would consider somewhat rare, you know, de depending, because, uh, I mean, each era, each, each tour, they had different guitar picks made. We can actually look. Can we look? Let's look. Van Halen guitar picks. Can we, f let's see if we can find, I mean, there's the ones that are made that. Yeah, see now this is where it's tricky because a lot <laughs> of these, a lot of these are, are the ones that they sell now. Like these, that ones that I have here. Mm. but there are a lot of fakes out there too so that's 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 kind of a, the issue there can't there can be a lot of like like fake ones so it depends who you got it from okay yeah let's let's go ahead we'll look at some of this we'll look at some van halen guitar picks here Okay, so like these up here, these are, are production ones. Anybody can buy these. I have one sitting right here. It's the one I showed earlier. So you got ones like that. Production as well. See? This is like the one we gave away tonight. Except these might, I don't know if the, the, those are the Max Grips. Those aren't the, those aren't the Tortex ones. Now the ones, the photos you're sending me are like these up here. And the fact this is that says Etsy in stock is not a good sign. <laughs> See, this tells me these are for these are forgeries. These are fakes. And these are the exact that's the exact same prints that are on the pic that you, the photos that you sent me. So that's why it's it's kind of it, it depends where it really depends how you got it. Because the truth is, people have sent me because I've been because I do these shows, and I I don't endorse um, uh, fake uh, forgeries of of anything, but people have sent me over the years guitar picks, real ones and fake ones, and the fake ones people have sent me they've sent them to me as gifts, and I'm like oh you know cool, but. I've never showed them on the show because I'm not going to show you guys a fake guitar pick unless we were to do a special show saying, hey, look out for this. Here's a sign how this is a fake and this is real. Right. Same goes with um, with autographs. You know. Like I, I can tell you guys Van Halen's autographs. If you were to send me if you were to send me photos of something like let's say you bought a Van Halen record that was signed, let's say you bought it with a, a COA on on eBay or whatever, I could tell you whether those auto, those autographs, those signatures are real or not just by looking at them. Cuz I've seen so many. And I have some. You know. So anyway, so Sean So again, like these right here these are the exact uh, uh, logos that are on the pick that you have. So I, I, okay, you're saying though it was given. You were given this personally. You knew, you knew a roadie, and your sister was dating road manager and hung backstage. I was given the pick in the eighties. Hmm. That's interesting, man. Hmm. Yeah. 
That's in interesting. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so the photos that you sent, I mean, if, if that's the story, um, I'd say, yeah, it's, it's possibly real, but that's, it's definitely an 84 era. Because that was, that was Eddie's signature back then. Eddie's signature changed over the years became a little different and that that's how you can tell the era of things let's say let's say autograph well let, let's just look at that let's look at the autographed let's look at van halen autograph stuff van halen autographs okay hang on a sec Now, these things are, we could do a show on this. Well, I guess we kind of are, huh? <laughs> we could actually do a, a show on this, but. Autographs, you, you got to be really, really wary. You know? But looking at some of these, right off the bat, some of these do look legit to me. The ones we can see right here anyway. Anyway. What did what did you send? The, the uh, monsters? Yeah. Universal monsters. That's the Pluto channel. That's the channel. Cool. Yeah, looking at these. This looks legit. This, yeah, the Eddie looks kind of legit. Yeah, that I would say that looks somewhat legit. This looks legit right here. This looks legit too. Yeah. But see, that's the problem when you when you buy that stuff, you really don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, you know, you know, I'm, you know, sometimes I feel kind of bad because, you know, I run, you know, the <clears throat> this huge Van Halen group and people post in there all the time and they're like, oh, look what I got. You know, this is a signed album. Look at this. And I see it and immediately I'm thinking that's not real. <laughs> that's not it's framed. It's on his wall. It's like, yeah, that's and and sometimes I'm like, should I tell them that's not real. You know, yeah, don't ruin the. Yeah, the I mean, I yeah. The dream, the hope, the dream. But if someone if someone was to approach me and say, "Hey, can you verify is this real or not?" I can definitely do that. Pawn Stars have your number. <laughs> they probably do. This is signed by Eddie. Well, let me call an expert. In. I, <laughs> go. I, I I go walking in there. <laughs> I, I know a guy to call about this. <laughs> I was in Vegas. I, I Johnny, is this Eddie, Eddie's signature? Hmm. Let me look at this. I'm going to have to say it's a big fat no. Okay, so what's your price now? Went from $100,000 to 5 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny makes guest appearances on Pawn Stars. Yeah. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, wait, you can't. Oh, wait, you can't see it yet. Crap. Oh, there we go. This 1984? Okay, first of all, this is the Eddie Van Halen signature right here. You can't see my mouse for some reason. There it is. This is definitely fake. This is definitely fake. And this right here, this actually looks like it's, it's saying Sammy Hagar <laughs> on this one. Well, maybe he did sign. So somebody copied a Sammy Hagar signature to put on a Van Halen 84 album. That is, this is a definite fake right here. It's invaluable. <laughs> That's right. There's no value to it. <laughs> it's 
in the right place. <laughs> That's not real at all. Right, Janice? Yeah, this is totally, totally fake right here. Don't Nobody buy this one. This is not real. You do see a lot of these checks popping up a lot of times. Pretty interesting, you know? There's his account number right there on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are these are, they're always from the early '80s though, so they're they're yeah they're not they're not you know they're they're old. But yeah, that's that's definitely his signature right there, definitely, definitely, definitely. But like I said, his signature did change over the years. Back when when they w were first you know signed, making those albums, you'll notice his signature is. Is well, we can just look. If you look at those early sig early signatures, where where's like an older one? Well, like on that guitar pick, on that guitar pick that you were showing, his signature. He actually wrote out Edward Van Halen. It's a much longer signature in the earlier days and then it got shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and then his signatures uh his more recent signatures were like really small just eddie van halen kind of like oh another not this total fake right here that is not his signature whatsoever this huge e like this that's not him None of this. That Michael Anthony, that's not right. That Roth, that doesn't look too bad, but that's, no. That Alex, nah. David probably signed all four of them. <laughs> <laughs> Here, man, it's the last signature from the band. It's this is only 100,000. Um, this one... Eh, this one's questionable right here. This could be legit. This particular one. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> but this is definitely, yeah, these guitars right here. He, 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 they, signed all these he'd play these guitars for one song or two songs in a show and then they'd auction them off so if you see these although people did fake these too but people there's a lot of people fake a lot of stuff out there man this right here eh, hmm that big e looks like a two well Yeah, see, here, here's, was this that same thing I found earlier? This is, somebody else made this as well. That is not his signature at all. <laughs> the same person that did this did that other one earlier. It's the same exact signature. Fake. So what you gonna do about it? I'm going to offer you less. Let me call in my expert, Johnny Bean. Van Halen autograph, 5150 album. What the? Yeah, this is not real either. This, this is fake. Anyway, a lot, lot of fake. I'm, I'm glad we're actually seeing a lot of these, of this fake stuff. Wow. Wild. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, we were looking up guitar picks, but Eddie had a lot of different guitar picks over the years. So, Sean, again, the one that you have, if you actually got it from somebody that was there, then it's real. If you got it from... Depending on when you got it, too. Because I don't know if... you know. If, if some of that stuff was being forged way back then either probably not like maybe a little later people start forging that stuff faking 
Who signed your chest? <laughs> T Fetch. I don't know. Is anybody in the chat or Ron? Do any of you guys have tattoos of, of a signature? Like somebody signed like your arm or something, then you had it tattooed? No, sir. No tattoos here at all whatsoever. No. Although, from three surgeries on their shoulder, I got a big scar, like a big mm -hmm. crack. I thought about having it tattooed black like it was still stitched up. Just, just oh. that scar. <laughs> I mean, the scars there just make it look like it's still stitched. Oh, crap. No way. Wow. Man. Yeah, when I met uh, Eddie, I didn't even ask him for his autograph. Because I was just talking to him, you know. We did take some selfies and stuff. And I do have a photo with him. But I didn't even ask for his, his signature. Although now I'm thinking about, yeah, I should have. <laughs> I should have had him sign like my arm or something. You know? Or or had him, you know? What? Huh? Hang on a sec. Sorry, I, I had to do this. That's Go a, ahead. That's cool. Let's see. Robot zipper on my scar. I thought about a zipper. I thought, then I thought Tattoo you know, a zipper make, on your scar? Yeah. And I thought, you know, just have it look like it's still, it's like almost six inch scars. Starts clear to top and comes clear down to here. I thought, man, just darken it in and make it look like it's still got the X stitches across it. That way, it'll always be there. I mean, the scar is always going to be there, so why not make something out of it? Would that be confusing though? Like if you had to go to the doctor, they're like, "What's that?" <laughs> well, actually, I have to get this whole shoulder replaced now, so that was another reason why I thought, well, might as well wait till they add to the scar. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when it was fixed for the third time, they said if it messes up again, there's no repair. The only thing we can do is replace the entire shoulder. And it messed up again, so I'm putting that off for a while. They can't replace, like, the entire arm? Well, unless I get a bionic arm. But then Can they do that? They don't do that yet, do they? I don't know. Replace arms. I don't have six million dollars to do it if they do. Because <laughs> you do hear about people that got like a finger cut off and they put it on yeah. ice and they take it and they reattach it. Yep. Yeah. I don't have the six hundred dollars anymore or six million dollars anymore. I spent it all. You had six million dollars? At one time. Well, it's it's all wrapped up in those guitars behind you. <laughs> and all those amplifiers. Well, six million dollars. <laughs> I guess if I sell a couple of them, I could probably buy that Ferrari back. <laughs> <laughs> this is depressing. Why am I looking at all these fake autographs? <laughs> Ew. Oh, the turkeys are talking again. You know what they're saying? Go in the oven and wait till you pop out and see if you're done. Oh, man. Um, I can't say this new 10-inch subwoofer on these monitors kicks serious butt. Mm-hmm. Because when I crank out something, like or I record something that I'm, you know, a new a new song or whatever, I crank it up. It, it it's like almost the guitar is hanging or like vibrating, and the speaker just goes bouncing out of it. It's cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. He's back. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so we, we did the giveaway. We did the unboxing. So, yeah, look for a video. Look for a couple videos, you guys. Look for a, a video dedicated to these. 
I will do a video for those maybe tomorrow. And then look for a uh, look for an unboxing of these. A little, a little. Yeah, it's tiny. I mean, my. I mean, it's not. It's not that little to me, but. I mean, it's, I mean, seriously, it's like, wow. Yeah. But, regardless, it will be playable, people. It will be playable. Nice. It will be. It will be. We just need to decide on a color real quick. Oh. Because I also have to let it allow time to dry. Well, I'm, I'm not going to pull George Lynch, paint it, and wait two days, wrap it up, and ship it to you. Because then when you peel all the plastic off, you're going to have the indentations of everything that was wrapped around it. Hmm. Well, when, when were you planning on painting it? Well, I'd like to do it within the next week. Okay, so maybe week, Friday... You know, we, well, uh, you know, yeah. We Wait, what's going, what's going on this? I don't have the sessions for the shows made up yet. Remember, well, Friday's 10 or 10.30 now. Okay, Saturday, there's there's a there's a, a local comic convention going on. I was going to either take you guys there live or film some stuff. Saturday. This Saturday night or Saturday? Saturday. Okay. Saturday night is Saturday night is the giveaway for the wireless, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we, we have this. I need to get an intern now to remind me to remind you. <laughs> you need an intern to remind you about stuff, to remind me about stuff. Yeah, I know. So yeah, we're giving this away Saturday night. So subscribe to the channel. Again, if you're what I know, we have a lot of people watching this right now on X, and there might be somebody up that fell asleep watching us on Facebook. <laughs> the giveaways only work on YouTube, so you must subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's why I'm always telling you guys YouTube, subscribe to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, help us get to 12k subscribers for one thing. Sky prop, no, the pickup did not work, it's dead, it must have a what the wire must be broken somewhere in there no output whatsoever dang it janice is awake though janice janice do you have an intern that i can find to use you know a friend <laughs> <laughs> to remind me to remind johnny of stuff <laughs> okay but so you're saying friday is is uh 10 30 10 or 10 10 or 10 30 your choice 10 eastern so seven yeah yeah friday yeah you might need to remind me again <laughs> i need to make sure i know that is there a piece of paper and a pen in front of you there is but it's it's covered up by all this stuff i just need to you just need to remind me because I, I need to create the set the sessions for the for the videos That's going in. There you go. So maybe Friday on Talking Guitars, we can talk about that guitar, the small guitar, talk about painting it mm -hmm. and all that. Or Skyprop had an idea. We could actually do the giveaway for it Friday and let whoever wins it the colors mm-hmm we could but I mean it's got to be a color I either have or I can get I can't come up with some obscure <laughs> I mean it's not like it's gonna take a lot of paint <laughs> seriously but to be no, fair, I do have big hands, so. No, it, it's not going to take a lot, a lot of paint. But the neck will be back to natural wood, the back of the neck, the headstock painted. <laughs> I 
I could. I could put 12 gauge uh, high the uh, the low brass 12 gauge on it. If I got two new 500k pots for it, CTS, only the best. So it will be playable. It very will be playable. My my friend Jed was here today, who's 6'10", 400 pounds. He held this. His fingers literally went past the body. They were like this, all the way around it. Mm-hmm. He held it. He held it up here, and it looked like just a little <clears throat> six inch decal on his shirt. <laughs> Uncle Raymond is saying, "Do the guitar first, then give it uh, in the future." Well. Either way, we just got to come up with with a color so I can get it painted within the next week to ten days. Hmm. Okay. So, so how I, about f- as far as knobs go? I have these three styles. I got the black speed have, knobs. Yeah, sea foam green, ugh, and I have gold. Hmm. Let the winner help in the paint decision. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, that's the whole thing then. Then we got to give the guitar away first before I do anything to it. And I have, I, 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 I don't know if I have red. I should have red. I think I have a purple, but I have this copper. And I have, again, this green. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, we can we can talk about it Friday, I think. We can talk about the painting of it, um, color combinations again, or whatever, you know, all that stuff. We can do a, a mock-up, you know, stuff. Hopefully, I mean, YouTube is being kind of weird tonight. I mean, I'm seeing it everywhere, so... Well, let, let's let's try let's try to 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 do a poll again really quickly, just because. Okay, all right. Vote in the poll now, just so we know if you guys can see that. Okay. All right, it's working. <laughs> oh man. All right. Or I can go get well, I don't know how that works. I've never done one in a fluorescent. I found a fluorescent yellow the other day. Mhm. And I'm it looks like it's plugged in to electricity it's so bright I thought, man that actually i was thinking whatever solid color to do like if you did the green or the copper even like with the copper either take a bright gold or a black and splatter over it. the copper and gold combo i thought would be cool yeah but like Raymond is saying, if the winner, what if the winner doesn't like the color? Like you painted something, the person that win, person that, person that wins is like, ugh, that's ugly. Well, I mean, then you have any other choice is to give it away Friday, and then uh, when it's done, they uh, get it. That's too soon though, because we we need to promote that we're giving it away. Yeah, you don't just you don't just drop it like that because that's. So we'll you know. just come up with what we want and paint it, and then then you have pictures and everything to promote the giveaway. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe kind of like, you know, because we kept, we keep talking about the let's back to the future theme, you know, maybe like the, 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 uh, what's it called? The, the Chiquita. Remember the, the Chiquita guitar? Billy Gibbons played them. Michael J. Fox played it in Back to the Future. It was the yellow. It was a mini yellow guitar. Yeah, that. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. I used to have one of those. It was red, I think. You had a red one. Yeah. 
Maybe maybe something like that. I can do it. Well, I can do yellow, do purple. Because uh, I don't know if anybody wants a copper painted guitar. I mean, that's, <laughs> that doesn't really, I don't know. I don't know. Although maybe, I don't know, who knows? I don't think it matters. I mean, free guitar. Nobody's yeah. going to complain and at it, all. And it will be playable. That's the best, you know, that's, it's not something you, you stick Well, did you try playing it before you even took it apart? No. If it, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, it will be playable. <laughs> okay. It'll be playable. It'll be set up. It'll be running, working. It'll be ready to go. Everything will be shielded. <laughs> it's surprisingly for as little as it is it's pretty heavy the body well you know why <laughs> sandwich <laughs> yeah that's why but <clears throat> now nah, it's cool it is cool so somebody will somebody will get that and as far as painting it Let's talk about that Friday, this Friday on Talking Guitars. Let's let's we like this conversation we're having now. We should be having Friday, I think. Well, Peggy's saying that her and James won at copper with gold, so well, she's planning on winning it. <laughs> well, she actually might win it, so <laughs> might as well paint it, paint it copper. What do you guys? What do you guys think? It's, it's going to have a high gloss to it too, and you're not nice. going to you're not going to feel the splatter. <laughs> well, if you're on OnlyFans. <laughs> we should give it away on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Splatter paint job. Lots <laughs> of <a> clear. <laughs> Lewis, you're back finally. Okay, we were trying to we we're going to end the show, but we were going to wait till you got here. So, Lewis, what color do you want your guitar painted? <laughs> you and Peggy's going to have to fight over. It. She wants copper with gold splatter. Hmm. Black with copper splatter. That sounds interesting. Or what about what about the what's the stuff that you do? The crackle. Crackle. Do black, black. with copper crackle. There you go. Uh, I don't know if they make copper crackle. Well, whatever that is, you right there. What? Whatever that the can of paint you have. Oh, the paint! I didn't paint. Just use that, and then spray black crackle over it. There you go. Although crackle finish will take longer to get done because you really, and I mean, really got to let the clear dry for like two to three weeks, unless I use the automotive clear. Clear. Mm hmm. Hmm. Either way, we're going to make the ugliest guitar you guys have ever seen. <laughs> or the best looking mini guitar you've ever seen. Yeah. And you get it, you can play little guitars. Yep. So it will be playable, it will be fun. It'll be neat. Or I could just spray uh, spray glue all over it and fabric cover it with different color fabrics, different style fabrics and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we, I think I think we can talk more more uh Friday about about all that. That sounds cool. What else? What time is it? Oh, whoa. Oh, three, it's been hours. three hours. Holy crap. I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll talk more about this Friday, talking guitars, about about the guitar giveaway and the painting and, and all that. It'll be cool. Um, 
What else? Congratulations, uh, T Fetch, on your winnings. I have your info. I'll get this out first thing tomorrow. We will do that. Look for uh, look for another video on the channel dedicated to showcasing the the Eddie Van Halen EVH Tortoise guitar picks, and look for uh, a video or a series of videos videos talking about the the Gibson Kramer pickups. So look for those. Yeah. So Talking Guitars Friday, 10 Eastern. 10 or 10.30, your choice. I think the earlier the better on a weeknight. Okay. I think the earlier the better. Saturdays, that's a different story. Like Saturdays, I'm making it earlier, but we could, what, uh, yeah. Yeah. What did the EVH-10 have picks in it? The one that you won? Yeah, it was sealed. Yeah. Yep, I sent that out. So you should see that. Okay. All right. Um, before everybody leaves, can everybody refresh your browsers a couple of times? Can we get to 400 views live? That would be awesome. 400 views 400. live. Live. Oh no, get to 400, please. Do the refresh. By the way, speaking of refresh, <laughs> Reflex, today is actually the 40th anniversary of the song Reflex. Uh oh, man. Believe I it or feel... not. Believe that or not, because I, I run a, a Duran group as well. And I don't believe it. So I saw that. I run all kinds of groups. Yeah. They're I, actually I... way more well behaved in that group than they are in the Van Halen group, man. <laughs> Well, you know, this whole believe what you want and be what you want. I went to the bank, said, I identify as a multi-billionaire. I want to take out $10 million today. And they just kicked me out of the building. Uh-huh. <laughs> it didn't quite work. <laughs> I tried. Hmm. All right. Refresh your browsers, you guys. Drop a comment below on, on playback when this is what's called a VOD, video on demand. Let's get some comments below. I, I said this, was it last week? And people actually did this. I want to see 20 comments down below. Okay? 20 comments. Those are rookie numbers. 30. Let's go 30. I want to see 30 comments down there. Okay? We 20 last week. We went 30 this week. <laughs> 40 next week. Should double it. That's we should right. get 40, 40 comments below. All right. They can be questions. Ask us questions. Ask us questions in the comments below on playback, and we will answer those questions. No matter what they are, we will answer them. There's a Jazz okay. 3 Tortex. Yeah. There you go. I've got, a, I've got one of these. Future giveaway on the channel. Everything I have is a future giveaway on the channel. I've got Luke, uh, Luke, Luke. Skywalker. I'm your father. Luke, oh no. Luke, I'm your father. Oh, this is <laughs> Steve Lukather. Guitar pick. Oh no, it's Luke he Skywalker. He uses these, man. Look at He's this. He's my master. <laughs> look, look how tiny these are, man. Oh my gosh. Speaking of the 3PO, I saw Anthony Daniels. Yeah, he's been selling off his costumes and stuff. I was actually watching a video right before we jumped in here. I need to finish watching the video. They're, they're showcasing uh, a helmet that he wore in, um, in uh, Return of the Jedi. T-Fetch, that is a Mandela effect. Because when I saw it originally at the um, drive-in, he said, Luke, I am your father. He did? Yes. Luke. Because he says, no, I am yeah, your father. It, it, that's what it says now. No. On the original one? 
it when I, I saw the original at a drive-in theater because I remember going home going, Luke, I'm your father. Luke, I'm your father. Well, technically, isn't a theater like indoors? No, drive-in theater. We were sitting in cars with the speaker in the window. Yeah. Yeah, they look like this. Yeah. Then it got then it got fancy. You could tune in on your radio, but what would happen is everybody's car battery was dead by the end of two movies. <laughs> a lot of tow trucks, yeah. a lot of cars being towed out of there at the end. Right at the end of of Empire Strikes Back, when he's like, "Luke, I'm your father," all you hear is like cars being towed, <laughs> so you can't even enjoy the ending. Five dollar battery jump. <laughs> Luke, I am, I am your tow truck. <laughs> These are not the battery cables I'm looking for. <laughs> Chewy, punch it. <laughs> Chewy, punch it, Chewy. Dang it. Ah, uh, it's almost doing it. Oh, there we go. That, that was See, that's shot. another thing. Here's another oh, thing for is. the Mandela effect. Here's another thing for Mandela effect. Sunday nights, Disney was on TV. Sunday night, seven o'clock. Tinker it Bell was? the fairy. Yes, <laughs> Tinker Bell the fairy would fly around with her wings and tap her wand. It would put one of the letters up or finish dot the I or something. Now they're saying that never happened. Did it happen? Yeah. Just like they're trying to say Mr. Monopoly Man never had the monocle. The hell he didn't. And the funny part is... Did he? They, yeah. And the funny part about it is all this stuff started changing once they fired up the Hydrogen Collider. What's that? That The Hydrogen Collider? That's where they smash subatomic particles at ungodly speed. It's like, I don't know, two and a half or five and a half miles. And they, they were trying to recreate the uh, Big Bang, a miniature Big Bang or a miniature black hole for a split second. But once they did that, then all of a sudden everything's different. Like how long, how many times have, in your life did you hear someone say, oh, the bucket list? That's on my bucket list. Now they're saying that term never, never was around until the movie Bucket List came out in the late 90s or whatever it was. Mm. Whenever, whenever that movie came out, they said it, that wasn't a thing until then. I can't, I can't remember that term longer than, than the Internet. Uh, see, I remember my grandfather saying that was on my bucket list, and I remember asking him, what is that? Is that stuff I want to do for a kick the bucket? That was like in 1975. Hmm. And it's called the Mandela effect because I remember in the late 80s, Nelson Mandela dying in prison. Then 10 years later or whatever it was, Nelson Mandela was released from prison today. Uh, he died like 12 years ago. <laughs> no, he didn't. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, all I know is Diver Down was released 40 years ago. <laughs> There's the Van 40, Halen. No, nope, 42 content. years ago. 42, 42 years. years. It's the Mandela effect. I thought it was released 40 years ago. No, 42. <laughs> I thought Diver Down was uh, mostly uh, original songs. You're telling well, they me they're cover they, tunes? They did write Happy Trails. I thought Cathedral had words on it. <laughs> I thought Little Guitars was a really big guitar. <laughs> I thought Little Guitars intro was actually Little Guitars outro. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, crap. All right, I think we have to. I 
think we have to go now. Goodbye. I have video games to play, as Hank Hill would say. <laughs> yeah, I me too. The, I have the video games. I do too. Damn it, Bobby. Yeah. Did you I see have... the, the when uh, I can't think what his name was, the guy that did the voice for Dale Gribble? Right. When he died, did you see the picture they put out? Yeah. It had it had Hank and Boomhauer and Bill, and Hank had his hand on the casket, Dale's casket oh i thought that was kind of neat actually i think i think i i saw that okay youtube is saying youtube is officially saying i just got an alert youtube is saying that there are problems <laughs> i thought it i thought it was a, it was a that was from uh, last week you just got i it. thought <laughs> <laughs> we're a little behind <laughs> Yeah. Can we get 50 thumbs ups on this video, though? That's all we need. Or 60. Yeah. Oh, Yo, what's double. up? 100. LB, 5150. On X. We have a lot of people on X now. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right. I think we got to, I think we got to run. All right, we just need 50 more views live and we'll be at 400 views. Do some refreshes, you guys. Refresh your browsers. Once this video is done, just hit refresh about 20 times each. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Hit refresh now. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Janice is our intern is leaving. Once your intern leaves, that you gotta leave because you got nobody to help you. I got to get going. Good night, everybody. I have Call of Duty to play. I got to get to the chopper. <laughs> I've got content warning to play, man. That game's craziness. All right. Good night, Peggy. <laughs> you guys thumbs up smash come back watch another video you guys i was at guitar center yesterday if you guys missed it it's amazingness it's awesome um thank you everybody congratulations t fetch again again <laughs> peggy step it up damn it and before yeah let's let me just get this out of the way congratulations peggy for next week <laughs> and and, and congratulations, Lewis, Lewis, for next for the week. week after that. <laughs> then we're back to T Fetch. Then Sean. <laughs> it's the same four people winning all these yeah. giveaways. It's a Mandela effect. I thought so and so won last week. Oh, but they did. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't until next week. Huh? Makes no sense. I All have right. to get in my. I have to get in my DeLorean and drive away. I do have a DeLorean in GTA. I do drive in that. I got a big Hummer <laughs> with, a, with a fifty cow on on the roof. I got to go drive through a little town here shortly. <laughs> uh huh. Same here. I got to get into that man. If we can figure that out. Oh yeah, it was too much money. That's right. That was a problem. <laughs> Yeah, we need to start. Much. We need to start the the funding for. No, <laughs> no, I don't even. Well, people can donate in the chat. They can donate in chat for the Call of Duty <clears throat> game for John. Call of Duty. Well, okay. We'll see you guys Friday. <laughs> Although we'll probably see you guys before that. Who knows? No, no, no Thursday show this week, right? No. Uh, I can say this, people. We have it on good authority that Randy Rhodes' sister and her husband watched our show on Randy, and they loved it. That's awesome. I know that because I got an email. Whoa. You still use email? Well, I'm yelling <laughs> through the megaphone. 
you know, they're, they're clo- that might work for you. They're closer to you than they are me. I got to yell 3,000 miles. I was going to go over there. Janice, tag Laz in a tweet if you can remember his tweet name and tell him we were, we were going to take a trip. To Napa to, Valley. To, to where the, yeah. We were going to go over there. Dogs use P mail. Oh my gosh. Gross. All right. Is that the same? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Thank you, channel members. Thank you again for your continued support for this channel. You guys are awesome. There we are. Good night, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget what? Friday at 10. Friday, 10 p.m., Talking Guitars. 10 p.m. Eastern. 10 Eastern, yeah. That's right. Okay, I'll create those either tonight. What's today? Tuesday? Either tonight or tomorrow. I mean, I should just do it. I should just do it. I'll do it tonight. I'll create Friday. Okay, 10 p.m. Eastern. So 7 Pacific Friday. Yep. Yep. 7 Pacific Friday. Okay. And 7.30 Pacific Saturday. Okay. Okay. We'll, We'll remember that. And welcome all our friends over on X tuning in. We're getting a lot of people over there. Thank you, guys. That is extra nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah, we barely talked Van Halen. Although we did. We did talk Van Halen. Yeah, we talked a lot of Van Halen. There was a lot of it. It wasn't exclusive, but we did talk a lot. Well, but this is exclusively Van Halen. But you kept tying it back into Van Halen, so uh, the big picture was fine. That's what I do. It was the Picasso of the exclusive Van Halen show. That's what we do. We tie everything back to Van Halen. On Tuesdays. Because this is oh you eight one Tuesday, right? NPN. <laughs> cool. Friday I'll have NPN's guitar here to show you. It's supposed oh. to be here Thursday. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. Right on. I won't have it done by Friday, but I'll show That's you what's okay. wrong with it. And I'll show you what happens when you work on a guitar on a bed. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That really is not... That's horrible. Especially if you didn't change the sheets before or after. Gross. <laughs> Imagine did if you, it was a, a waterbed. MPN, did you at least wipe it down with hand cleaner, hand sanitizer before you sent it to me? <laughs> Gross. Gross. <laughs> You have heard it? Hmm? All right. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, you guys. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we could just do Don't one of these. Tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. See you guys later. Johnnybean.com. Yeah, everybody go there. Go to johnnybean.com. Tell him a- tell him Johnny sent you. <laughs> it's a place to go. All right. We want 30 comments down below on playback. So once we're done here, refresh several times until you can get a comment and leave comments below. We will answer those comments. Okay. As many comments as it takes. And maybe that should be a, that should, Janice, is Janice, still here? somebody. I think she left. Send me a tweet reminding me that we need to tell people to leave tons of comments on each video. And then on the next episode of the show, we answer those questions in the comments. There it'll you go. A, it'll be like open lines. Yes. 
We'll do a half hour question and answer segment from the previous show. There we go. We will do that. So please. Okay. Um. Good night, everybody. <laughs> All right. I Bye-bye. don't want to make Frankenstein's mistake with the unmanageable brute. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Sammy. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, right, you right, want to right. film? You can film all you want, okay. man. Okay. What do you want me to tell you in that camera? Johnny hey, Bean. happy Bob. birthday to you, man. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Johnny Bean. I've met hey, you a few Johnny times. Johnny Bean? Johnny Bean. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hey, Johnny Bean. Sammy, here you go. Here, man. Congratulations. There you go. One or all. And then I'll give you mine, so come back around this way. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Mike. Mike. Hi. How you doing? I'm Johnny Bean. I met you last year. I talked to you on Google+. Oh. Yes. Uh, I remember you. Yeah. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Let's yeah. Go. Right. <laughs> right. Here's out a Google Plus hangout. I'm Johnny Bean. <laughs>